Hi to Chaco. Yeah, it's best of three. Great. It was best of three in summer. I don't think it's going to change in winter. Uh, let me auto camera. Uh, make it best of three. Then I need to tweet. Hopefully nothing happens yet. Shit, here's some harassment. I have the demon hunter harassing the Archmage. I better tweet fast. Tweeter. Some nice mana. Oh, but five mana mana burn. What a horrible mana burn. That's the horriblest mana burn I've ever seen in my life today. Because I've actually seen worse mana burns on different days. But today, what do we have all over the map? A lot of purple farms. Okay, live with... GCS Winter Asian Qualifier 1 Round of 16 Now T TH 1 1 2 3 versus Elegant Cream Tweet I tweeted Uh, it's hard to control with the mouse. Oh yeah, you. I, I make some mistakes now and then as well. Um, it, it behaves a bit differently like I expect it to. It's not like left is left and right is right. Not always at least. This is my favorite map. This is my favorite map, peepers. This can't be your favorite map. This is my favorite map. And I'll see you my favorite map. Anyway, we have a demon hunter hunting down the Archmage. The Archmage is still level 1, he's almost level 2 here. 48 and Elegance, the Demon Hunter. Level 1, hunting down the Archmage still. Beautiful hunt here. What else do we have here? We have a farm here, we have a farm here. We have uh, some footmen over here. The Archmage does have close of Haste. Is so so. Demon Hunter has Boots of Speed. The Archmage has to buy this Boots of Speed here. He has to. He doesn't block with the footman there. He could have blocked with the footman. TH, why do you need the footman? What do you need it for? Took some extra damage here. Probably another mana burn as well. Uh, he probably would have been mana burned anyway. But uh, maybe he could have saved himself on an attack or two by blocking with the footman. But he said he needs to. He needs the footman to creep. They have defend. He's gonna creep with defend. And we have a wisp here. Oh, the wisp! No, go for the wisp. Never fo footman. The footman guy. Kill the wisp. Didn't, didn't even attack the wisp. It's like a, a pacifist footman. Do we even have sound? We do have sound. We're done. Music. Nah, we'll probably have music. Do you guys hear the sound, by the way? Is it uh, too loud, too, too soft? Yesterday someone said it was too soft. Anyway, the demon hunter killed one footman. Now this peasant is dead. Uh, so two kills already for the demon hunter. Now is he? Now this peasant is uh, is going to die here as well, per perhaps. I mean, maybe the demon hunter let him live. He attack. Okay, now he kills that peasant. I hear it. It's okay. Maybe a bit soft. Okay, I can uh, a little bit louder. If it's too loud, let me know. A player's forces are under attack. Demon Hunter screaming here. Level 1 Demon Hunter. Creeping uh, the level 6 rock on. Oh, he's surrounded by the footman. He's storm bolted. He has to. He gets a kill just before he has to uh, TP. He doesn't even have to TP because he's got a great approach of healing. And he uses it. So that was uh, living on the edge here. Elegant. He will have to TP though. Where's the TP? There's the TP. Maybe uh, a bit late on the TP. I feel like at some point he couldn't kill anything anymore. Or maybe he was hoping the panda could get in there and try to uh, to burn something up. The breath of fire. The panda was a bit late. With the angel of lore up, we have uh, one angel of lore coming up. Yeah, that's what we have. Ancient of War, of course, fell. It didn't TP. Unfortunately, the, the Ancient of War doesn't get to TP. That's uh, one of the, the weaknesses of being Ancient of War. You can't get TP to safety. Sure, you have a beautiful life. 
just eating trees, walking around, making some, uh, something, it's not really summoning, but, um, yeah, making little elves. A it's a beautiful sword. life, but sometimes you can't TP and then you die. Anyway, we have the panda going to this expansion. Does have Breath of Fires available, but there's an arcane tower and he's attacking the panda. Another Breath of Fire. Panda is slowed. No, the Berserker is slowed. We have a Mud Golem. The Mud Golem is being hunted down here by the Demon Hunter. Can he get him? He can. Maybe. He's slowed now. You cannot mana burn a Mud Golem. Even though he has mana, he, he has uh, magic, spell immunity, and mana burn is a spell. Mud Golem survives. The Berserker, though. Oh, yeah, oh no, Mud Golem, 23 hit points. And the Berserker at 93. Meanwhile, we have uh, Archmage hunting down the Panda, but the Panda is still fine. His footman uh, uses defense, so he's, he's walking pretty slow as well. Just trying to hunt down this guy. Can you get him? You can't. Footman falls. Meanwhile, we have the Archmage hunting down the Panda. Panda retreating here. Oh, the Demon Hunter is also slowed. Is that a Mud Golem icon? Oh, yeah. Muddy, he has sunglasses? I didn't know he has sunglasses. Oh, my Mud Golem doesn't have sunglasses. What is this? Is this like, uh, is that... Secret information. That classified information from Blizzard, like in the Worker 3 Remastered, we'll see Mud Muddy the Mud Golem with sunglasses. I think that's uh, that's what they're trying to hint. That's what Back to Warcraft is trying to tell us, trying to communicate to us with that uh, emote. A Naga second, of course. TH loves the Naga. It's his favorite hero, I think. If it isn't, you know, it's it's my favorite hero of TH. If that counts. Okay, here, uh, here's a fight. The Demon Hunter against the human army. Oh, well, we have already bears, by the way. A dead bears. Uh, is he gonna get master soon? Yeah, very, very soon. He will have master. Very, very, very soon. So, with this dryad trying to kill this footman, the footman uh, survives. Yeah, the footman lives. He's going for the mud golem again. No, Maddie! No, Maddie. He died. He's going for the expansion now. We only have four towers. But how many bears do we have? We have one bear. I only can I only count one bear and I can count to like five. I, I only see one. Oh two now with two bears, but this one will even reach the expansion. He has to be careful. The Naga has the cold arrow of course and he does get hit and the demon hunter is not surrounded. But the bear is is gonna be surrounded. Does he have staff? He does have staff. Bear can always be saved. But the demon hunter cannot be saved. He needs to kill these footmen. Probably both of them. Uh, but he is not be going to be able to. Well, he's going to be able to, but then he dies. There's a GG. TH wins game one against Elegant. Beautiful game there by TH. Angel of War just hitting this ogre in the face. Or which face? He has two faces. Uh, first at the, at the face on the right. Right of the ogre. The left for us. Look, yeah, that's the face he's hitting. Yes, that's the face that uh, makes the decision. So if you kill, if you hit that ogre in the face first, your other ogre does not know what to do. The other head, I mean. So that's why uh, the Ancient of War goes for that uh, that face first. Arcmage just hits the ogre in the belly. Now in the back, now in the side. He just hits the ogre from all sides. We have a Whisper, is it gonna detonate? No, but he's very low on hit points. Eight hit points, he might have to detonate sometime soon, but not yet. Archmage is going to creep a little bit more. Ring of Protection, not a great item here. The def a Demon Hunter, also a Ring of Protection, also not a great item. Let's see if he can do something here, because the peasants are hiding. They're hiding. Can he? Does he see the peasants? He does find the Archmage. Nice mana burn right there on the horse. Raccoon. Almost blocking the demon onto there, but not quite. Uh, we have the oh, the elegant bot, the uh, first soul shadow priest. What 
do we have over here? Footman and the archer. Uh, these peasants. We'll survive for now. How many archers does he have? He has an archer and a four set of priest here. He has, uh, oh, these are all wisps. He's gonna buy some mercenaries over there. He's still, he is at Tree of Ages, or he's attacking two Tree of Ages. He's halfway there, he's killing more peasants. That peasant goes in the gold mine, comes out and he dies! Demon Hunter kills the peasant, and he's level two. That's a beautiful level for a Demon Hunter to be. The Archmage is still level one, so we have a nice XP advantage here for the, the Demon Hunter, for Elegant. He's going for the tower, he's going for the tower. Is he committed? He might not be able to, uh, Get out of there anymore unless he kills the tower but even if he kills the tower i think he has to tp he kills the tower oh no th lets him go th please well it doesn't matter anyway it doesn't matter that's why it didn't matter he has the boost of speed he he didn't care it's like even if he escapes he uh he's around i can still kill him same with this four soul shadow priest that guy's dead oh wait maybe not because the archways lets him go now he decided, no, there was a mistake. I need to hunt him down. He's going for the Forest Lord Shadow Priest. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter is going for the expansion one more time. He's going to buy an item on the way. Maybe a staff, maybe... A, I don't think Boots of Speed are available yet. This guy does go does go down. We have level 2 Archmage. Boots of Speed not available just yet. But pretty soon. But instead, the Demon Hunter buys nothing. Only has to still the Dream of Protection. Archmage might be able to kill him. With the help of the Footman, of course. And the tower is, is still not up. Not up. There were some misses. Archmage is over here. He's waiting to snipe the demon hunter. Coming out of the darkness. What do we have here? Second. A panda. Panda second. Another. A mana burn for seven. There was just uh, not a very well timed mana burn there. I think he, he might have even had some time there to cancel the mana burn after he saw the water element being summoned. But maybe he didn't know how low the Archmage was on mana. This archer can kill this footman. She doesn't. She lets the footman live. This is mutiny. This is treason. Maybe they're in love. Maybe the archer and the footman are in love. This is a story about arch archery and foot footy. Anyway, well, Archer died there, Footman died there as well. There's the Archmage. Can be mana burned now. He has uh, 90 mana. Soon, soon. He has another uh, Water Elemental av available. A Wisp hiding here in the tree. We have uh, a tier 2. Yeah, he just goes to keep right now. Taking to keep, he has a scout tower in the base here. He has an arcane tower over here, building another scout tower. What do we have here for Night Elf? We have uh, Dryads. He's going to Tree of Eternity. I'm sure we're gonna see some bears. Here's the Demon Hunter. This time with Boots. He's no longer afraid of the Archmage. Finally, has met his equal. Well, the Archmage has. And that is the Demon Hunter with the Boots. The Archmage is healing up. man eyeing up as well. Does not find the panda creeping here. Just missing him. I'm pretty sure he could have done some damage there, but two of his footmen would be ensnared. Then he would be left with two footmen and an archmage and another footman and another footman. That's actually uh, just... Would have done just fine, but he didn't find Knight of Creeping here. Right? It was, it was Knight. Oh, but Knight Elf... Let's see the footman, I believe. But no, he didn't. Didn't get an ultra vision. Demon Hunter killing some peasants. Okay, he's just going for the base. Maybe maybe this was his plan all along. There was a nice detonate on the arc base and the water elemental. Do we have this ball just yet? Not yet, but soon. Oh, but he needs to be attacked once and then he can be dispelled. He has over 300 hit points. It's attacked once. Where's the dispel? There's no dispel. The art of the dry time to the water elemental. Not dispel. And he can dispel the second one. There was. Very smart there, not dispelling the first one, so he can dispel the second one. This uh, Force of Berserker surrounded! Beautiful surround here, four footmen. He was setting up for it, pretending to just try to target these other units. He was actually just setting up for the surround on the Berserker. We have four footmen over here on the left, still being annoying. The Archmage has to retreat here. Where's the Demon Hunter? Where are you, Demon Hunter? You could have hunted that Archmage right now. GG. 
Okay, focus 1-0 up over uh, Colorful. Of course, focus is still, do, uh, still beast right now because it's still online. It's not the offline tournament yet, even though GCS is a pretty uh, premier tournament. Focus is just fine online. These uh, heroes are being focused. He does not have a staff of uh, preservation. He just has a staff of teleportation. Let's a beast master die and stops out. Where's the crits? No crits. A piggy. Two piggies. One piggy dies. One piggy is about to go poof. Look at how fast. How, how fast is poof. Poof. There that poof is. We have uh, ensnare here. And spirit cows. Mikasa. Mikasa is level 2. Ten wind totem level 1. Over here we have Dark Sorrow and uh, Dudes of the Talon. And uh, yeah, he starts creeping over here. Follow for those. Uh, what else do we have? Anything strange going on? Nothing strange, right? Nothing out of the ordinary. What are the hero levels? I just checked them. They're 2 and 1. And oh, and one, almost level three demon hunter here. Needs a level three demon hunter. Bunny, wand of illusion. The items. Let's see, look at the items. That's a very nice item, by the way. The potion of invulnerability. You got them early already, but 15 seconds invulnerable. That's exactly what you want on Mikasa. Uh, the gloss of haste works very nicely with it. He needs some more damage items. So the serpent is so so. And there we have a TC. What do we have here on Demon Hunter? He does have a Clause of Attack and Potion of Greater Healing. He's level 3, but he's in a dangerous situation. But if he gets uh, if he gets ensnared, there's only one ensnare guy. If he gets ensnared, he can stop. What is he doing? Why is he standing still here? Are you- what? Hey! Oh. Hey. Hey, he knew what he was doing. Colorful knows what he was doing. I shouldn't- I, sh I don't have to worry about Colorful. I shouldn't doubt him. He was- he was just waiting for the Beastmaster. Blade Master level 3 now, level 2, critical strike. Right, just like any good orc player besides Sawin would do, would get a level 2 critical strike. Such a good spell. Uh, such, uh, is this a spell? It's not really a spell. Such a good skill. So much damage output. It's, uh, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. TC is level 2. What is the Beastmaster doing? Has a TP. I think he just bought it. Also a half stone. He has a great healing potion on the Deep Hunter and a half stone here on the Beastmaster. So some pretty nice survival items. That's what you want. So even the 50 seconds might not be enough, but he does have two gloves of haste. Isn't that amazing? Two gloves of haste means that he is uh, going to kill shit in that 15 seconds. He's going to kill a lot. He's going to attack very, 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 very fast. That's something I want to see in Warcraft 3 Remastered as well. Like, if the speed is even faster than very fast, they should add very, very fast. And then if it's, it's even faster, if you can attack, attack even faster, they should add a very, very, very fast. And then if it, and, etc. Anyway, we have a fight here. There's a pocket factory in a bad place. I don't know why, why do you place it here? Why not place it here? I don't understand. That was a bad placement. Pocket factory goes down, of course, after only like summoning one or two goblin tinkers. Uh, we have a few druids of the talent dying as well. Uh, Blade Master uses the info potion. He's going for the Tinker. Tinker. Oh, the Tinker gets away. Uh, now he's going for Druid of Talon. He can be Cycloned. There's a Cyclone. Beautiful Cyclone. And uh, well, we have a lot of Raiders here, by the way. The Grunts are all dying, of, of course. This Raider, uh, this Druid of Talon dying to the Raiders and Blade Master. There's another Cyclone. This Raider as well. Dead. Where is the Demon Hunter? He's fighting the Grunt. That's not really how he wanted it to happen. But uh, the Grunt is dead. The Raiders killing this uh, more dudes of the Talon. They're all being ensnared. These these guys very low on hit points as well. We have illusions are dying to the to the Blade Master. The Blade Master killed all the Demon Hunter illusions, and uh, maybe at some point he will go for the real one as well. The Tinker has to be stopped out. Where's the stop? Where's the stop? No stop. No stop. Don't worry. The Tinker he was meant to die, and this uh, Raider falling. The units here for Orc are a little bit low. But he is 50 supply up, focus at 43, only 28 for uh, Colorful. But if we can kill some units here, that would be big. He needs to kill some units here. Colorful, go Colorful. DC is, uh, can be mana burned one more time. Uh, Blade Master is Cyclone, this Raider is it going to fall. 
So hard to kill raiders with the Druid of the Talon, man. There, that uh, raider fell. That raider fell as well. Two raiders dead. One Druid of the Talon is going to die as well. A mana burn there on the cow little spirit guy. And now we only have uh, nine supply advantage here for focus. Killing two raiders is definitely worth the trade for a Druid of the Talon. Druid of the Talon. Oh, we have a Druid of the Talon flank! But all the times it doesn't uh, go too well for Druids of the Talon, but this time. It walked up the bus beautiful. Uh, they're cycling on the, the TC. He can be uh, surrounded, of course. But first, he shockwaves. Beautiful shockwave. It's just level 2 shockwave. It, it does help him kill the Druid of the Talon, though. But it survives with two hit points. If one of these raiders just did one more damage, or two more damage, well, or one more damage, killed up to two more damage, uh, that Druid of the Talon was dead. But oh, did he try to block? Or no, I don't think so. It was just pure luck. Else, there would have been some pretty good, pretty nice micro there. Blade Master with his Invil Potion. Do we have more flanking Druid of the Talons? He doesn't even need it. Blade Master, is he going to die? He might, but he's going to kill this Druid of the Talon first. This Druid of the Talon, go birdie for him. Go away. No, colorful, please. A little bit better micro would be nice. I'm sure Moon, I'm sure Life, I'm sure even, even maybe even other Night of Players would have saved the Druid of the Talon. No problem. Okay, now uh, Blade Master in trouble. Michael's dead Druid of the Talon, nice. This Druid of the Talon will not fall. The Blade Master does go down. And what is Fox going to do? Does he have pillage? He needs pillage, I think, and just go base race. He actually, uh, he actually went from being kind of up ahead a little bit to... Just being behind, of course, losing the Blade Master was a big deal. Oh, he's buying it back. Can he win a fight now? Oh, it's two free Druids of the Talon. Pheasant for you, Focus, but you're losing two free uh, Spirit Walkers. And that's not worth the trade. Spirit Walkers are worth more than Druids of the Talon. TC is level 3, the Blade Master level 4. That's pretty nice, but. Gets a level 3 Demon Hunter, it doesn't matter. Level 3 Demon Hunter still stronger. Can still mana burn the TC. Can still kill the. Well, not really kill the Blade Master by himself, but he can still cycle on the Blade Master. Oh, there's a cycle on the TC. The TC in trouble. The Demon Hunter are also very far in the front, but he still has a greater healing potion. We have a lot of Raiders now. We have uh, 5 Raiders and we have Spirit, Wall, uh, Spirit Link. The raiders are pretty hard to kill. Demon Hunter. Okay. It's Pocket Factory. Um, okay, position. Well, is it? Maybe he could have. Uh, maybe there was a better one. Anyway, we have a uh, great healing potion used on the Demon Hunter. The Raiders. They don't have a lot of surface area here against these Druids of the Talon. We have two more Druids of the Talon coming in. This uh, this cow guy on two hit points. Hiding behind the creeps. So smart. One Raider goes down. One uh, A few Raiders. Pretty long hit points here. Do we have Healing Scroll? Where's that Healing Scroll? Use one already, but he has one more. He has to use it, I believe. Gets uh, Cyclone again. And more Raiders dying. Uh, where's that Healing Scroll? Where is it? There it is. Use the Healing Scroll, but it's too little, too late. The Raiders are not strong enough. The TC is going to die here eventually. Maybe not. Uh, but maybe the Blade Master. Blade Master only has two Gloves of Haste and a Circlet left. The Demon Hunter fighting against the Raiders, against the Peons, against nothing. Uh, oh, the Blade Master fights his way through. Fights his way through the Druids of the Talon while the Demon Hunter is killing uh, Peons. And GG, Focus loses game two. Game three is live here. By the way... Ah, oh, never mind. Uh, we have uh, Demon Hunter here for, uh, for Colorful. Uh, for focus, we have a Blade Master. Blade Master, so very, very standard game. Let's see what Blade Master we're gonna get, and let's see what Demon Hunter we're gonna get. I think it's gonna be something like um, Terror Face. Terror Face is gonna be the Demon Hunter, and for the Blade Master, we're gonna get Kigami. I think we will have Kigami. We'll see. Uh, creeping here already. Let's see. Where's that demon hunter? Do we have terror face? No, we have painkiller. <laughs> this is some kind of drug. This is the, the guy you call when you uh, 
when you're in pain, you're like, oh, I fell down my on the, fell down the stairs. My knee is hurting so much. Please, I need some painkillers. They said painkiller, and he just he just chops off your knee, and you don't have any pain anymore. It's beautiful. Here the blade master. He got a circlet, much better item. We have Nikoro. Nikoro. I was wrong. It's not Kigami. I have to admit when I'm wrong. This time, wasn't wasn't my fault. We have, <laughs> but I was wrong. We have cause of attack here on the demon hunter. Chaco life lost really three to two. Because last time I saw life was up two zero. So that means Rima uh, won three games in a row. That's uh, just Archer. That's too bad, I guess. Wait, is he out now? There was a loser's bracket there, right? Yeah. Oh well. Blade Master killed the Archer. A uh, nice kill there on the for the Blade Master, of course. Oh. I'll be I'll be crying tonight. I won't be sleeping tonight. Now I have to be strong and I have to focus on this game. So the Demon Hunter and the Blade Master. Just playing around the marketplace. Are they just both <laughs> just buying items? Because the Blade Master bought a Claws of Attack and the Demon Hunter also bought a Claws of Attack. They both have a Claws of Attack. Wakes up the creeps. Doesn't want this ogre to go to the Blade Master, but. Blade Master is going for it. Painkiller. Can he kill the pain? He gets a mana burn. There's no more mana on the Blade Master. He's surrounded by the ogres. This Blade Master is going to die. Does he get XP? He does get XP. Level 2 Demon Hunter. Beautiful kill there by the Demon Hunter. Surrounding the Blade Master with the solo Demon Hunter. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. Very nice there by Elegant. I guess, uh, oh, Colorful. Very nice but Colorful. Demon Hunter, is he gonna hunt down something? He, he wants an item. Just goes for it. The Grunts can't do shit. They can get in a stair though, so they have to be careful. The Demon Hunter does get a three mana mana burn on the creep. That's the worst mana burn I've ever seen. And we also have a potion of greater mana. Hi, uh, Lord Red. Welcome back to the stream. We have uh, Ancient of Winds going up. Two Ancient of Winds and an Ancient of Wonders. Oh, the Demon Hunter bought a staff. We have uh, Beastmaster out as well. Summoning Piggies. Blade Master going for this uh, level 5. He gets boost of speed. Doesn't even uh, need to buy it. Just gets it for free. I'll post the stream again. Oh, yeah, thanks, Lord Dread. And there's... It's not much of a creep jack, but some of the grunts are still weak. Uh, I can kill them with the uh, piggies. Oh, but the uh, Beastmaster surrounded is gonna give him the staff. The Beastmaster is just going to die, I think, in the long run. Maybe, because we do have to boost the speed here on the Blade Master. Unless he TPs out. This grunt is going to die here. See the piggies, there is the Beastmaster, but the Demon Hunter might also die here. The, with the TC, with the boots of speed, with the aura, endurance aura, this Demon Hunter is very low on hit points. He gets hit there by the backstab, no, he's so dead, he has to TP, there's a the TP. With the piggies, he TPs with the piggies, instead of sending the piggies to the main base, but it's not like there's much to do here in the main base. We have a Raider and a, a Death being upgraded here. TC is level 1, Blade Master level 2.8, so it's a Demon Hunter, very similar on XP, slightly better items on the Demon Hunter of course. Or is it even true? I'll have to take that back. Better items on the Blade Master. Go to a 76 critical strike there on the uh, Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is hunting down this 4 Soul Berserker. 4 Soul Berserker does so much damage, you want to kill that ASAP. 
Uh, if there's no raiders yet, it's a uh, it's very easy kill. There's the first raider, he has us there. Focus wants to keep this. Even killing that uh, baitmaster early wasn't enough here. Maybe he shouldn't have harassed afterwards. Well, he killed two grunts, right? Okay, maybe that was pretty good. What's gonna buy here? Healing scroll, info potion. Healing scroll and info potion. There's only one shop on this map. It's so much about shop control. Painkiller, he needs to get level three. Uh, TC is still far from level three, so he still has some time. Here he comes with the adept, uh, adept guys, the adept uh, dudes, and the ace of war. Remember, there were, there's only one grunt. The other two got killed. He gonna try to kill it. No. Mana burn on. Uh, or did he? He tried to maybe, but he didn't get it. Because we did see a 36 mana burn. I don't think it was. Uh, it was maybe it was on the blade master. I'm not sure. He gets another boots of speed. Are you kidding me? How many boots of speed does this blade master need? Of course, it doesn't stack. He's just gonna sell it. I think. Else he would have given it to the TC already. Gonna creep over here. Meanwhile, we have a demon hunter and the beast master creeping over here. The dudes of the tail are still adept. He's getting master. Yes, master in a millisecond. There it is. A microsecond was it even? And there we have the master druids of the Talon. Tome of Agility, perfect. Sentry Wards, also very nice. Sells one, sells both of the bo boots and buys a circlet. Doesn't need any of the boots apparently. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter is level 3 now. Two rings of protection. Nine armor on the Demon Hunter, 36%. We have the Beastmaster, almost level 2. Walking out on the map as well. We have uh, Master Druids of the Talon. Perfect. Perfect game so far. Do we get a Tinker? Meanwhile. TC, he needs to get level 3. Is this enough? I'm not sure. Probably just barely not enough. Yeah, 3 XP. Wow, I'm like the best caster ever, right? Have you ever seen someone call this barely not enough and then be exactly right? 3 XP off. He just needs to kill like these creeps maybe. Or Wisp or anything. Or Murlocs. The Murlocs are being creeped here by the Night Elf by um, Colorful. What is the Blade Master doing? Okay, he does get level 3. Wisp detonated in his face though. Or Raiders. He went over 50 supply. 55 here against 47. The items though. Does he have any items? He has one info potion, one healing scroll. It's the same for Night Elf I believe. Right, he's gonna buy more. He has one info, one healing scroll. What can he buy? There's nothing to buy. Or did he just buy already? No, there's nothing to buy. Unless he goes over here. He could buy maybe... Info potion. But I don't think it's worth for Night Elf to buy this bigger info potion. Uh, maybe for Night Elf you want to buy the potion of greater healing. If you, if you are considering buying one of these items. But... Even that might not be worth it. 400 gold. But for Orc, I definitely think this uh, 15 second info potion is uh, worth it. Especially if you have a strong Blade Master with level 2 critical strike. This Blade Master does plus 10 damage. Does uh, attack very fast. But he uh, already has the info potion. So there's no need to buy that info potion right now. But maybe in a later part of the game if he... Uh, if the other info potion is out of seal, I wouldn't mind him seeing that uh, bigger info potion. Summons a birdie. Goes out hunting. Oh, there's a snare of the Beastmaster. Do we have a fight here? Colorful is 15 supply behind, but that doesn't mean he's gonna lose this fight. Uh, there are some uh, stairs on the dudes of the tail and these are definitely going to die the first one already dead uh, he shockwave just these two dudes of the tail so the rest of the dudes of the tail are still very healthy the demon hunter though he's not he's not that healthy he still has a healing scroll he uses the healing scroll and maybe give the info potion no they did not let the demon hunter die demon hunter just died 
Even though he has the info potion there on the Beastmaster. Uh, the Pocket Factory, by the way, wasn't placed badly. It was actually a pretty nice position. Already summoned so many uh, Clockwork Goblins. They did a lot of damage and the Pocket Factory is just going to survive. The Tinker now. Uh, can he kill the Tinker? There's the info potion. Seven seconds of pure damage here from the Blade Master. 162 critical strike. There goes the Tinker. It's now just a Beastmaster and a Demon Hunter that was uh, that's back. Bought back probably from the tavern and stopped back into the fight. We have 40 spike and 67, 27 exp uh, advantage here for focus. He's going for the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, does he have the info potion now? Yes, he does have the info potion now. He uses it. Uh, meanwhile, Raider died over there. Beastmaster just walks out. So it's a piggy, but gets this belt immediately to half head hit points. Uh, some of these troops of the Talion tanking. The, the, the Raider says not what you want to do with them, but I guess he didn't have a choice. There's a TP with the Beastmaster. 42 against 64. We have a pretty big advances here for focus. Killing that uh, Demon Hunter early was just so nice. Wisp detonated in his face, Cabal Pride. Indeed. Oh, this Wisp again, a nice detonate, but it detonated the uh, Sentry Ward as well. This built the Sentry Ward when they didn't even see the Sentry Ward. That was pure luck. Pure luck here by uh, Colorful. We'll get the radar here. But there's the sentry word over here as well. And he sees it. Is he going to kill it? Does he kill it? He does kill it. But it's uh, it's about to expire anyway. There's a mana bird on the TC. Do we have a fight here? We have an uh, angel board protecting this area as well. No Tinker out yet. Tinker died of course. The demon hunter killing this uh, spirit walker that's stuck behind the peons. Did fell. His body is uh, in the trees. It's very hard to see his body. But here it is. In the trees. There's a piggy, still only level 2 Beastmaster, Demon Hunter fighting by himself here against the Blade Master and the TC, but that's not a fight the Demon Hunter can take. There's a Cyclone on the TC, uh, but not on the Blade Master because he's invulnerable. There's a Tinker, Demon Hunter gets stopped out. We see a Raider die. Uh, some Jews of the Talon died as well. The Beastmaster is, is pretty. Is, is slowly going down. Another Raider is. About to not die because healing scroll was used. The Beast Master does die. Cyclone here on the Blade Master here. And he's gonna get some more critical strikes. This is looking very difficult here for uh, Colorful now. Without the Beast Master. Can he do something here? These uh, Raiders killing the Dudes of Talon one for one. Two more Dudes of Talon walk in. The Demon Hunter very long hit points. Demon Hunter goes down and that's GG. In the bottom left, in the blue, we have the Chinese dead from China. It is WFZ. Z, Z, Z. So, Death Knight first, but what did we see here for Remind? We saw the Keeper of the Growth. So, maybe we'll have an interesting game on our hands. Maybe with Huntresses. Maybe with uh, Archers. Maybe with. Oh, I know what. Maybe with Hippo Riders. That would be amazing. I want to see some Hippo Riders, please. Please. Keeper is almost out to play. Hopefully, yeah. Well, it's going to harass WFZ. Uh, we have an ancient war here. This this ghoul just killed the piggy. Guys, here the piggy die. Piggy died. Death Knight now using his frostborn sword against Nuada, the keeper of the grove. Death Knight's name is Lord Dark Scythe. He doesn't even carry a scythe. Why does he not? Why is his name not Lord Dark Sword? I think they uh, made a mistake there. Probably they uh, in initially made the Death Knight with a scythe, but then realized they didn't have uh, didn't have enough bandwidth to add that skin in with the, the Death Knight with the scythe. So they gave him a sword instead. But I forgot to change his name to Lord Dark Sword. Keeper is uh, just being, you know, a little bit annoying. It doesn't even entangle anything. I mean, it's hard to kill anything with entangle when there's a death knight around. Entangle does 9 times 50 damage. We all know that's exactly 135 damage. Then uh, with some attacks, you could kill something, but not if there's a coil to save whatever uh, we're trying to kill. 
We have one Ancient of War making Hunter's Assist. We have a Hunter's Hole getting an Ultra Vision. Ooh, Ultra Vision. One Hunter's out. How many Hunters are we going to see? We're drinking some moon juice. Hmm, so nice. Of course, he's still full mana. So he just drank a li little bit of moon juice for his health. Wasn't much moon juice, just a little bit. Look, it's 31. This one is 100. Okay, he drank like 100 moon juice. Guess he was quite damaged then. A town is under siege. Wisp everywhere. Skeleton hunting a wisp down. Wisp is running away. The keeper can still not really do anything. Even if there's no death knight around, what are you going to do? Graveyard going up. Second crypt. Are we going to see gargoyles? I want to say yes. I want to say, mm-hmm. I want to say, I've never seen a Chinese and that player go gargoyles before. But against keeper, it makes sense. Gar keeper is not very good against air units. The only thing, the only thing that the keeper does against gargoyles, if is if it is hippos against gargoyles, he does have the thorns aura, which would help a lot. But besides that, he cannot. Uh, well, he can attack gargoyles, but not for a lot of damage. He doesn't have any spells that can hit air units. His summons can't hit air units, his, uh, yeah, he's not very good against air, even though he can attack air. Uh, gargoyles as well, as well as uh, killing wisps and killing uh, knight of units, they can also ki kill these dragons maybe if you have enough of them. And then you can creep up very fast. We'll see. We have an expansion over here. Tree of life. But the keeper is screaming over here with the ancient of war. These uh, creeps are slowly dying. That one went down. Two ogres down already. Now it's the turn of the, this rock golem to go down. Very, a third hunter is walking in. We have the panda. Panda second. The keeper hardly even uh, got any XP. And then he's already forced to retreat. To give all the XP to the panda. Life is just not fair. Panda gets a mantle of intelligence and a wand of mana stealing. I don't know, maybe give the mantle of intelligence to the keeper for now. Once you get level 3 panda, you could give the mantle back. If you really want that extra mana. But anyway, we have a keeper who needs to protect against these gargoyles now. Unfortunately, he cannot entangle them. We have two gargoyles in the air. We have uh, two ancient of winds. He is going for the hippos. Forces are under but he doesn't have thorns just yet, but we have the panda level 1, we have the nuada level 1, while Lord Darkseid is already level 2, he sells some items that he got from the creeps, he's sending over more gargoyles, and uh, beautiful game so far. Panda's level 2, nuada is still level 1. Still level 1. These gargoyles, did they kill a wisp yet? I'm not sure. Fortunately, in this game, we don't have a kill count on units. Four gargoyles hunting now these, uh, these huntresses. Nice breath of fire hitting some of the gargoyles. Well, look at how little damage this keeper does. The panda, however, haste breath of fire does so much damage against these gargoyles. I love two. Two more gargoyles moving in. So we have six gargs already. How many more are we gonna get? How many more? Well, probably at least six more. Twelve gargoyles is is nice because you yeah, can you can get twelve gargoyles in one control group. But now that he sees the hippos, he's like, as much as possible, as much gargoyles as possible. At least up to fifty supply. Doesn't even matter if you go over fifty. It's just a matter of who has the the higher numbers at this point. And uh, micro isn't that that important. It's just who has a higher number. Kind of fights like this. Hippos against uh, gargoyles reminds me a bit of StarCraft. Where it's just like whoever has more wins. Micro only can help you so much. Panda level 2. Keeper almost level 2. Players' forces are under attack. 
Of course, the cargo can keep uh, the guard units, but the uh, hippos can't. But Night Elf does have trees to help him creep. And three hunters is still. Three hunters is. I wonder if at some point he's just gonna kill them himself. Because what are the hunters gonna do against the gargoyles? They're just gonna give XP to the undead. So maybe he's just gonna let them die to creeps. There is stone form, by the way. And a lich is go, uh, being summoned. Death Knight picks up the Tome of Intelligence. He's pretty smart nowadays. 22 intelligence on Death Knight. He's level 3. He has level 2 coil. He has a uh, belt of giant strength. And meanwhile, the Tree of Life making wills, wisps for that entangled gold mine. We have a lot of hippos here in the air. Uh, six, seven, seven hippos. Of a two keeper, level three panda. Does have boots of speed here on the panda. And now this matter of intelligence, I guess I like it better on the panda now because just the extra mana for the breath of fires for the dragon hazes is more important than three extra damage and some extra uh, tank the goods or, or, or wait what? Why did he pick force of nature? I don't understand. I was just saying how the only use this keeper has is thorns aura for the hippos against the uh, against the uh, uh, gargoyles. But he didn't even go thorns aura. What the fuck? Isn't that the best skill? Even if he went level 3, I would have recommended, yeah, get level 2 Thor's Aura. Don't bother with the Entangle. Don't bother with the level 2 uh, Force of Nature. Get level 2 Thor's Aura. He doesn't, didn't even pick level 1. I don't understand. Like, this is like a question I would ask a in an interview, right? Yesterday, was someone was asking me, what would you ask professional players in an interview? I would ask Remind here right now why he did not get Thor's Aura. That would be my question. For the remind interview. Anyway, we have a fight here. We have uh, hippos fighting against gargoyles. There's a haze. Uh, do we see breath? No, because uh, gargoyles they set on their face. And now there's a breath of fire, and this fight is just a beautiful fight. You can see who's winning uh, if you pay attention. I think the hippos are winning. Uh, it does look like it, yeah. With the panda, of course, helping them. Maybe he thought he didn't need the thorns or uh, because he had the panda and he won the fight and that and the game, of course. GG. I, don't, I think it is GG because we have an expansion up for uh, Remite. The Death Knight almost went down. Death Knight is still alive. Okay, Death Knight. Can he kill the Death Knight? Death Knight TP's out. The Lich here uh, with the orb has a nice plus 6 damage, by the way. Expansion is totally up. We have more than double the supply for Remind. 41 against 21. I mean, that's no longer more than double, but when I said more than double, it was uh, 18 versus 37. Now it's uh, slightly less than double. He's going fiends. He realizes he cannot win anymore with uh, hippos. And he's probably going to wait in his base for the rest of the game. Mine out his gold mine. Creep the... His spots, maybe? if he, Once he has enough fiends. And just try to avoid Night Elf. Get a 80 supply army and a win like that. And it's gonna be a very boring game. It's gonna be a very one-sided game where WFZ only has like a 1% chance to win. But he needs to stay in the game. He needs to see if he can he can win with that 1% chance. So And by boring the game, of course, I mean a very exciting game. I'm excited for this game. This game. For WFZ to win this game. Creeps is Creep Camp. Uh, didn't see what item he got. What uh, what item did we get over here? Bolt of Giant Strength is pretty good on the Panda. Uh, some extra damage is, is not that important. But the extra hit points is nice. Especially since the panda is his most important hero. Like the keeper, no one cares about the keeper. Besides, you have a DP and a healing potion anyway. But the panda, if the panda dies, you have a chance for WFZ. That's a, that's a way for WFZ to win. By the way, he does have the critical strike as well. So the plus 6 damage of the belt of giant strength could become plus 12 damage. You know, if he crits. 
Okay, so Remind doesn't want to give the, all the time in the world here to WFC, so he, he pressures him a little bit. Uh, what is he doing here? Why is this happening flying south when he should be flying north? Picks up the uh, statue. Is he flying back to his base? What is he doing? WFC is doing nothing. <laughs> Three hands. Three hands in his base. We have a fire, kills one Acolyte. There's the Zeppelin. We have a level 4 Death Knight. The Lich, by the way, has a close of attack plus 9, so plus 20 damage on the Lich. Luckily for uh, the Remind, he did get the Belt of Giant Strength, else the Panda would die in 2 attacks. Now it dies in a few more attacks. By the way, Mass Fairy Dragons! Maybe I should have paid a little bit more attention to this game. Mass Fairy Dragons with 1 0 upgrades. Where's the Hunter's Hall again? Oh, here it was. It's getting 2 0, and then it's getting the Moon Spring, Well Spring upgrade. Uh, this Angel of War will fall. We have a lot of fiends. No upgrades on the fiends. I wonder if. Uh... Oh, let's see. I wonder who wins this fight. <laughs> fiends or uh, fairy dragons. We have so many fairy dragons, though. It does seem like the fairy dragons are just gonna win this because they outnumber the fiends like 5 to 1. Or maybe. 3 to 1. Anyway, uh, another fiend dying there. Nice breath of fire. One more fiend very low. The one hunter got killed there, by the way. Heard the death sound. This, uh, this fiend gets a nice coil. This fairy dragon is getting killed. There he or she goes. Are, are fairy dragons girls? I think they're both. They're probably both girls and guys. There's a nice coil there on the lich. The lich is still alive. But the lich, can he survive in the long term? He does survive for now. He does have mana for Frost Nova as well, if he wants to Frost Nova something. Gets a coil, the Fiend does go down. 64 against 33, again about double the the supply here for Remind. And that's a nice uh, Frost Nova there. Gets a coil there on the on the Lich, the Lich is, what is he killing next? He's just killing whatever he can. Just plus 20 damage, so the Lich is the only DPS here for WFZ. But not if, if the Lich dies, it's GG, and Lich dies, it's GG. And there it is, GG. I think that was already around the time I, I didn't watch too much uh, MTV anymore. I had already outgrown MTV. It was too much, uh, not enough music anymore, too much other bullshit. We have a Demon Hunter here. And what is this base? It looks so beautiful on the minimap. Like just a beautiful square here. It's like a pink Swedish flag. It's like the... I don't know. We have a death knight here and some ghouls. A tomb of relics here on the side. So that doesn't look very beautiful. But these other four buildings, these four buildings on the minimap, just beautiful. I just, I just love this. Beautiful. Death knight. What death knight are we gonna get? Are we gonna get a lord, a baron, a duke? I think today WFD he um, he's gonna get a duke. He's gonna he's gonna get lucky and get a duke, the highest of noble of all the noble families. Over here we're gonna get something like Torment Rager. Torment Rager, I think, is the name of the demon hunter this game. No Shadow Fury. Well, I was close. I was close. Shadow Fury, Torment Rager. You know what? If, uh, if Blizzard for Warcraft 3 Remastered needs more uh, suggestions for more Demon Hunter names, you know, they should ask me. I can make up so many more Demon Hunter names. Like, just, just like... Dragon... Lightning. Dragon Lightning! Wouldn't that be a cool name for a Demon Hunter? Or... Uh, How about what? What sounds really cool? Like what's really scary? Like dark, dark, dark micro, dark micro. That would be a, a beautiful name for a for a demon hunter. It sounds kind of scary, it's kind of darkish, kind of. Who? That would be, imagine playing a de uh, demon hunter and his name is Dark Micro. You just want, would like like micro and the demon hunter would make you feel so evil inside. That would be so nice. Dark lightning. Uh, a archmage Albus Dumbledore. I, I wonder if we might get into IP problems then with uh, the other uh, wizard guy Harry Potter. Dark Morph. 
Oh, Dark Morph. That sounds that sounds really good. That you're very good at this game, Steve Morph. Dark Morph. Dragonborn. Dragonborn is uh is, is not that original. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's uh I feel like that's uh, a type of uh, <laughs> type of uh, a race in Dungeons and Dragons, I believe. So, but a, a nice attempt there. Maybe if you don't know that the race in Dungeons and Dragons, it was a it was an original attempt. So, uh, did Remind win map two? Okay, so we we actually missed game one. Uh, the last game we saw was actually game two, and. So the first game was won by WFC and the second game was won by Remind. Uh, Devlet doing some damage here maybe, I'm not sure. I haven't been paying too much attention. But there was a nice mana burn on the Death Knight. We have boost of speed here on the Demon Hunter and Claws of Attack. Demon first Roda. <laughs> Demon first Roda. I mean, uh, I feel like that, that sounds pretty cool, but I feel like that's not really a Demon Hunter name. That's more like... A lich name, maybe? Demon first Roda. Maybe Dreadlord name? Yeah, Dreadlord. Demon first Roda is a Dreadlord name. That's what we got there. Uh, Demon Hunter by almost level 3. Death Knight level 2. Lord Death Storm, uh, Storm by the way. We didn't get a Duke like I thought he was gonna get. He got a Lord. Too bad. Too bad. Shadow of Fury level 3 has boots and Claws of Attack. Did he buy the boots at some point? I, I bet he did. Because I don't think he grabbed something where he can get the boots. Uh, I believe this creep camp can give you boots, right? So he did buy the boots a long time ago because it's, no, it's uh, already... The cooldown has already been... Uh, Town is under siege. Fired. It's, I mean, it has already been cooldown. So I didn't see if he bought the boots at the shop, but I'm sure... Bought them a long time ago. There's the Ultra Vision. There's the Ancient of Wonders. There's the Ancient of Lore. There's a Keeper. Keeper second. Remind playing some uh, Keepers today. He got the Boots of Speed. He did not buy the Boots of Speed. He got it from the Creep Camp. Doesn't have dust though. Demon Hunter. Can he hunt down the Lord Death Storm? Oh, I can get one mana burn off. Oh, level 2 mana burn is just so much mana to burn. Of course, the Death Knight walks faster than the Demon Hunter, but not fast enough to avoid that uh, mana burn. I'm pretty sure the Death Knight is at full movement speed now. 10% movement speed is... 10% means he goes to like 350, uh, 352, and this gives plus 60, which means he reaches the cap of 400. So Death Knight at 400 movement speed. Well, the Demon Hunter is just around 300, uh, 380, I believe. But just a movement speed of um, of 20 difference isn't really big enough to avoid that mana burn. So, most of the time. We see uh, Remind creeping over here. What the Keeper a second. It's so beautiful to see that Keeper against uh, that. These uh, these guys, pretty annoying. Killing your archers gets the uh, gets the book of the dead. Is he going to use it? Not not now, but I mean like soon. Because if he's t if he waits too late after he gets a destroyer upgrade, of course he cannot use it anymore. Maybe he uses it to creep. We see that uh, quite often nowadays. Instead of selling it, if you don't have use for it against your opponent, just creep with it. Can creep a lot faster with uh, taking as much damage. Beautiful first Nova Dark ki there, killing a archer with Naze the Eternal, by the way. And here we have uh, Sir Dwin. Sir Dwine? Sir Dwin? How do you pronounce this? Sir Dwin. He is uh, the first time I see this keeper, or the first time I read his name at the very least. Maybe I've seen his face before. Like his face does look very familiar. A fury, level three. Is he going for an expo? Let's see what he's doing. I've I don't know what remind how remind is playing. That's probably why he uh, plays like this. You know, just to catch WFC of core of guard. WFC doesn't know how to play. Maybe against some of these uh, strategies. 
Remind, of course, is much more old school than WFC. Remind has been in the scene for over 10 years. He knows like all the different strategies. He, he might know that he might know some strategies that just don't work against Undead that knows how to counter them. But WFC might not know how to counter these. Because no one else has played these strategies against him before. We'll see. There's a nice mana burn there on the Naga. Not the Naga, the Lich. And the uh, uh, Demon Hunter just dies. But he's he's better off that anyway. At least he's no longer in pain. Uh, this archer is dead. This archer is, might die here. We have Boots of Speed on the Naga, so she can hunt down units. That was that free Boots of Speed that he got from the creeps. Uh, he got a Book of the Dead over there as well, so both players got a Book of the Dead. That's pretty uh, nice. They both got the same item, balance-wise. Master Bears, Team Hunter uh, being summoned. Well, we have uh, this bear is going down pretty fast here against a cool frenzied ghouls and a destroyer, but he does survive in the end. He does survive. And the Demon Hunter. Oh wait, the uh, one bear went down. Demon Hunter was bought back at the tavern. Here he comes. With a beautiful flank attack. But he needs to drink moon juice. Doesn't go into the fight just yet. We have only one bear. Do we have anything else? Nothing else. How is he just losing so uh, so hard when he didn't even build expo yet? Or did he build expo? Demons are being nuked again. Uh, and gets stopped out. But where where are his other bears? He's building another bear. Needs a rejuvenation and needs to dodge that destroyer. What do we have over here? Just Angel War. Yeah. There's no second bears. I guess the uh, keeper wasn't that great after all. Another archer goes down. Oh, a dryad was there was a dryad, but the same thing. Little girl with a uh, ranged piercing attack. There goes the demon hunter. This is gonna be GG. This is gonna be so easy for WFZ to finish. And there it is. GG. GG. WFZ wins over Remind. And those games were played very fast. Pretty much in the time that we watched WFC vs Remind, the Colorful vs uh, Romantic games were played. Romantic apparently won over Colorful, and the Czech vs Focus games were played. And Czech actually won over Focus. That's is that not a surprise? Czech is so bad against Org. It's insane how bad he is against Org. But he won. He won against Focus. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's not so bad against Org. Maybe it's just kind of a little bit bad against Orc. Orc may scream over here. He does have a circlet. I mean, if you can beat Focus on a online in an online tournament, you can't be so bad against Orc. You just, at worst, you can be only a little bit bad. Orc is level two with uh, Slippers of Agility, not the item he wanted. Blade Master keeping over here, great. That's what item does he want? He wants a uh, greater mana potion is of course the best one. Greater healing potion I want to say is the second best one. Greater mana potion, that's beautiful. That's exactly what he wanted. However, it's not, it's not over yet. It's not that big of a deal just yet. This item doesn't become good until his second hero is level 3. And you know what? That still is a long, long time away from now. And before that game, uh, before that even happens, the game can already be decided. Blade Master going for the Arc Mage. Arc Mage just pops out. He's like, if you're a Blade Master, I can do Blade Master tricks. Pop! Now I'm over here. Boots of Speed here on the Arc Mage. Blade Master has uh, no such item. He does have the Claws of Attack and the Circlet. My food then. And the militia, maybe he saw the... No, I don't know. I was just thinking, like, maybe if you see this, uh, these items, depending on what items your opponent gets, you can play differently. So maybe he saw the potion of greater mana, it's like, okay, maybe I just tower rush this game. But, of course, not yet. First he's gonna kill this, uh... Not gonna kill the first old trapper. It's a bit, uh... A bit bold move here to just start keeping with the blade masters over there, killing your footman. Doesn't kill anything, but oh, the grunt is ensnared. I don't think he can go for the grunt really though. Loses some uh, footman, but he did creep over here. 
It's almost level three though. Oh, can I get level three? Ooh, 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 ooh. This footman is going to die. One more shot, or there it goes. And meanwhile, the Archmage Scream over here. Let's see what I need to get. A Senti Word. Senti Words are, of course, very good in the long run. But if you wanted to do Towers, of course, Illusions would be better. But now that he gets the Senti Words, maybe he doesn't go for Tower Strategy any after all. Not sure exactly. I don't remember exactly how Romantic plays against Orc. Does he play Beastmaster? Does he play Mountain King? Does he play Blood Mage? He does play Footman. And uh, Blade Master doesn't have Boots of Speed. So this Footman is probably uh, just safe. Okay, he does go for the Beastmaster. Maybe because of that mana potion. No Sentry Wars have been placed anywhere just yet. Of course, we'll see uh, Tower Wars later on. First, we see Arcane Smith. Uh, Arcane Sanctum. <laughs> Arcane Smith, that should be the new building. In Warcraft 4, they should add an Arcane Smith to get like rifle casters or something. Rifle, rifle priest, rifle, uh, rifle sorceresses. They have a rifle and they can cast spells. The Arcane Smith. There's a nice piggy. Beastmaster, though, also is a piggy and he's probably going to die very soon, very fast. That was really bad there for Romantic. Just losing that Beastmaster without really even doing any damage. He has two piggies. Some two piggies before the Beastmaster died. This uh, burrow is being killed. The Archmage is going for this burrow. F throwing fire, fireball things. Uh, now he's going for the gun. No, it doesn't go for the gun. So many uh, summons still here. Losing the footman, but not the summons. He's going for this burrow. This, he will definitely get this burrow. Maybe then he will kill this grunt. That's for this grunt for now. He should probably be killing this grunt. So he at least gets one grunt. Okay, goes for this grunt. This burrow did save, uh, stay up. Uh, three footmen have been killed already. On top of the footman that died early game. So he's, he's going for this grunt finally. But it's a bit too late. The piggy archmage is a piggy. Uh, there's no ensnare yet. This grunt, will it fall? Yeah, it will definitely fall. This other grunt probably won't, won't fall. Uh, there's mana used on the shadow hunter. And uh, Archmage does get out of here safely. Does have boots. He did place a sentry ward here. He sees exactly what's up. But he lost so much. Can he even tower rush? Can he even tower rush? He killed a burrow and he forced a lot of repair on this other burrow. He killed one grunt. Well, maybe. And lost a Beastmaster though. Lost a Beastmaster. Lost three footmen, I believe. I mean, it wasn't the worst, but I wonder if. Uh, can still towers. This is one more footman just uh, to try to kill some units here. Denied it, creep. We have a level two shadow hunter. He does have so that. Uh, oh, he did get the item already. Book of the Dead. So he can always defend. The tower is not gonna work against Book of the Dead. What are you gonna do, Romantic? What are you gonna do? You're going to lose. Maybe you should. Uh, I don't know. Decide to expand. Book of the Dead. You cannot uh, fight it until you have dispel on these priests. Yeah, these uh, militia just dying to this ogre. He retreats now. Is he getting this spell? Oh, he's getting sources. He's getting arcane vault. He's creeping over here. Oh, but here comes the creep jack. Blade master, so slow though. <laughs> Why is he so slow? Because he does have boots, but still, it's. I don't know, maybe it was in uh, move formation. Now we have level 3 Blade Master. And now we have... I don't know, but but we do have a greater mana potion here on the Beast Master. Once this Shadow Hunter is level 3, I don't think uh, Focus will ever lose a fight again. Human... Human, what is human... What is Romantic going to do? How can he come back? Maybe... Maybe if he went for expansion sooner. Instead of creeping this, if he just went straight here, went for that expansion, maybe he could have been on time. Had the chance here. Now it's... I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully he does something, because I like uh, exciting games, not one-sided games. Not saying this, this game was one-sided, but from here on out, I don't want it to be exciting. 
Shadow Hunter is uh, still level 2. Did kill that ogre. What item did he get? Healing wards, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Focus. Arcmage is almost level 4. No, not almost. And uh, no dispel yet. He saw that Book of the Dead a long time ago, but didn't decide to counter it with a dispel on the priests. A player's forces are under attack. Now he's paying. Paying for his mistake. Not getting dispel. Almost killed one skeleton. Keeps killed one skeleton, so the keeps are doing a better job. We have a level 3 Shadow Hunter. This is gonna be insane. This is gonna be nice here for focus. But we do have a militia as well. Militia against skeletons, who wins the fight? But we still have four archer skeletons and uh, one melee skeleton. It was in this ball used by Orc on uh, some of the summons. The Beastmaster is level 2, summons a piggy. Archmage can summon a water elemental. Don't summon it next to the piggy. If there are more dispels, yes, there are just no more dispels. He knew that, so he was like, okay, I don't have to worry. We have a birdie here, by the way, on the side as well. Piece matter pretty low. This uh, spellbreaker does go down. Level 4 Blade Master now with level 2 Critical Strike and level 2 Wind Wolf. Everything is going to die for Romantic, and he's not going to kill anything unless the Shadow Hunter is out of mana. Shadow Hunter doesn't have mana, but he does have a healing scroll and healing wards. He can always play the healing wards over here on the high ground or over here. Can, uh, can Romantic see this? Um, he can actually, but that's because of the birdie, of course. Forgot about the birdie. Birdie can look up the high ground. And Romantic down to 41 supply. Focus at 56. He's killing one more sorcerers with the help of the peons. They are really helping out a lot. Another nice dispel. Dispel some slows, maybe some summons. I'm not sure. Uh, the Beastmaster going for this radar, but the radar gets a nice uh, spirit link. And TP out here by Romantic, but the space is right next to it. So I'm not sure where he's TPing to over here. Great. Uh, to the shop, he can buy a healing potion. If he has the money, he does buy a healing potion, uses it. Beastmaster is going to die here, surrounded. He's dead. Uh, the, the wolves are killing the piggy. Piggy is going to die uh, down, and now we have uh, Kodo is, can eat something. Water metal is, uh, is still alive. Just got summoned. We don't have enough. We don't really have this, but the healing ward did get cancel killed there. And GG, finally. Okay, uh, in the purple we have TH from China. In the blue we have WFC from China. WFC as undead, TH as human. We have... Uh, what are the hero levels like? We have a level 1 Blood Mage with Cyber Mana. We have a level 4 Mountain King. Probably went Mountain King first. Paladin second and Blood Mage third. Destroyer doing some harassment, 0-0 zero, zero on the destroyer. Uh, did he kill the ogre? Did. Or probably in a long time already someone killed the ogre because I don't see his body. So let's see what items we have over here. Blood match, no items. Paladin, some intelligence. On the king. Circlet's claws of deck. Maybe it was WFZ that killed a long time ago. He does have the cloak of flames. Yeah. And that must have been from that creep camp. We have tanks here. A Zeppelin drop with tanks. We have 60 spike and 50. TH has a supply advantage. Dropping tanks are 2 1 upgraded. The Death Knight has boots of quota last. Not as great, but he also has Wand of the Wind. Could be useful later. Healthstone. Also very nice against the nuke here of uh, TH. The Lich here. Mm, okay, no real damage. Just one close of haste. The Cloak of Flames. I don't even know why keep it on a Lich. Instead of the Death Knight, I don't know. Do we have a third hero here for WFZ? I don't see one. Oh, no third hero. Some tanks over here waiting to be picked up and dropped. Oh, but the Death Knight finds them, and we have the Fiends as well with web. Uh, Zeppelin, oh, he gets wiped down. Zeppelin is going down. He's dead. GG, Zeppelin. Well, the Mount King uh, killing shit over here. The Mount King has Rune Bracers. He's not going to be nuked down. Especially not with the, the Paladin saving his, his ass. In the back, we uh, we don't have an orb. <laughs> no orb. 
69 supply, so at this point I wouldn't uh, recommend buying an orb, but... It's getting animal war training. That's a castle. Beautiful castle. Wait, what is he just making? Just... What does he have? He has flying machines. There are 2-2. Two, two. As knights, is that what the animal war training is for? They're one two, by the way. Yeah, just for knights. He doesn't have Griffin aviary. A player's forces are under attack. More flying machines. I keep this. Paladin is not that close to level three yet. The, the blood mage is level two now, though, so we can banish. Is that what is that? The staff, a staff into the base, and there are stormbolt on the acolyte. Bloodlust is the Mount King, can easily kill some ghouls. He also has level 2 bash. Kill ghouls, but he doesn't want to go into the range, of course, of the Frost Tower because he doesn't have a staff. I mean, the staff is on cooldown. He doesn't have anything else to save himself. No TP, no info potion, no nothing. So he has to be pretty careful. So that's why he didn't go in and kill some ghouls with the Bloodlust. Meanwhile, the, um, the Paladin is creeping over here with the Blood Mage as well. Well, he, uh, okay, he will get a level 3 Paladin here, which is pretty nice. Mount King is still a little bit away from level 5. He needs uh, a bit more. I don't think he can creep to level 5, unless he somehow managed to get this creep camp as well. Meanwhile, we have uh, WC killing the shop, while the Death Knight went home to save his uh, base against the uh, tanks, I guess. And we have an expansion here for TH, or towers for now. The Paladin is level 3. Blood Mage level 2 still. And the Mountain King very close to level 5. Very close. He just needs 53 more XP. I don't think he can uh, go to this creep spot without uh, the dad knowing it. Level 5 Lich now. Did give the Boots of Quality last to the Lich. Also, Warsong Battle Drums. Very nice item. Hi, Doman H Quan 92 Welcome to my stream. Okay, here we have a fight. We have a bunch of flying machines. We have a bunch of knights. Uh, 69 gets 55 supply. And the Paladin is level 3. So we have a chance here for our TAs. And WC just TPs out. And uh, considering he TPs out, that does mean TAs can get this creep camp and get a level 5 Mount King. And maybe even level 3 Blood Mage. Where's the Mount King, in fact? Where are you? Here he is. Uh, the Paladin. Maybe you should move the Paladin back. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe there's not enough XP for the Blood Mage. If, yeah, if the Paladin is, is stealing the creeps here for the XP. The Mount King will definitely get level 5. We'll see if the Blood Mage gets level 3. Or maybe he just needs to creep this ASAP so he can save this base. So that's why he's creeping with the Mount King there. But still, I think... Okay, it wasn't, it wasn't enough anyway. I guess he knows better than me. I mean, of course he knows better than me. <laughs> if yet, if Vietnam name should i pronounce it in uh, vietnamese forces are under attack. fortunately i uh don't know vietnamese uh we have some flying machines buying a little bit of time but they are they are uh, destroyed they're killed they're dead arcane tower also buying time that's just what these towers are doing but th can win a fight i believe if they fight again especially with these heroes level five Level 3 and level 3, that means level 2 Siphon, I believe. Level 2 Siphon, level 1 Banish. Here we have a level 5, level 5. Not weak either, uh, but not as good as Tri Hero. Not as good as 5 3 3. Here comes the attack. He's stealing mana from the Lich. The Lich, what is he using his Frost Nova on? Not the. Oh, he used the Frost Nova somewhere already. He's out of mana. Lich out of mana. What else can he steal the mana from? Well, the Death Knight, but the Death Knight is too fast. This goes down. GG. But let's see. I, I don't know like the build orders of the build orders completely from uh, Undead. Usually they're just doing the same. I wonder if there's any difference. Should I be paying attention to this build order? Like an early Nerubian tower, very early shop. Is this kind of, is this normal? Is this standard against human? Pretty re recently early, uh, or <laughs> recently. Relative early graveyard. He buys the uh, rods, goes out. I think it's standard, but maybe the graveyard is a bit early. I just now realized someone was talking about ROD. I was like, what is ROD? 
And then he's like, Rod of Necromancy. I was like, why is it not R-O-N? Right, because Rod of Necromancy, R-O-N. But now I realize he just, just, it's just, Rod is the first word of the, of the, of the Rod of Necromancy. That's why he called it R Rod. I just sometimes, I'm just not the smartest player, not the smartest caster, commentator in the world. We have a uh, ring of protection here on the Archmage. The Death Knight got the Cloak of Shadows. Um, he didn't get all the, wait, he got the level four. Sure, well, how the Archmage leveled up. Did he kill a skeleton? Or did, no, he just killed these creeps with the militia, of course. Human players nowadays are so good at like harassing and creeping at the same time. Harassing with the Archmage or Footman or whatever, and then creeping with the Water Elemental or Footman or whatever uh, at the safest spot on the map without getting creepjacked, without losing anything, while at the same time harassing, getting a level 5 Archmage while the opponent still has a level 1 Death Knight. It's just beautiful. We do have a Duke, by the way, here for WFZ, Duke Dreadmore. Very uh, high level, uh, high, very noble Death Knight. One peasant went down, by the way. Did he get XP for that? No, it, no, the creeps killed it. He did get XP for that uh, forest though, though, and his, and his footman, uh, not footman, militia as well. Archmage, pretty shitty items. So far. The Death Knight as well with uh, the Cloak of Shadows. He has another footman, they're already level 2 in the Death Knight. Remember, he only crept 1 level 4. Or was it level 4? Or is he level... Yeah, 1 level 4. So he only had like, what, 68 XP, I believe? Around that uh, amount. The rest was all from units killed. Units, uh, the trapper, the body stole, some footman, some, some militia. So it's pretty good. But the Archmage already level 3. We have water elementals soon. Soon he will have more water elementals. We have uh, Scroll of the Beast is maybe useful. Yeah, maybe useful. What are these militia doing? They're trying to help, but they first have to take off their armor. Finally, they listen to me. They take off their armor and are they gonna help? Now they're helping. We have uh, TI screaming here and here at the same time. Isn't that just beautiful? That's just beautiful. Man, TH is so good at this game. Seems like another water elemental. It's gonna kill these kobolds. We have a frog helping as well. I'm not sure if he does any damage, but he's trying. Okay, he's uh, taking a better position behind the footman. That's a uh, good position for the frog. The Archmage picks up illusions. That might be... It's not the best. He wants to send you words. Close off attack. That's nice. Later for the Lich. I'm gonna kill these creeps as well. Lich, talking about the Lich. Where is the Lich? There's a Lich. There's a slaughterhouse. With uh, three fiends. I believe that's all you get against human. Three fiends. Then you get the uh, slaughterhouse units. Times double slaughterhouse. TH kills this kobold. He has so many illusions. Summons one illusion. Okay, well. For a while I thought like this matchup was like impossible to win for human. Or at least I didn't know how to win as human. But TH is showing me how. He's showing me. Call of the Beast. He's going for the uh, Acolytes. Kill these Acolytes. These Acolytes go down very fast. These Footmen do so much damage. 15 to 16. They do more damage than a Grunt. I mean, because they attack faster, of course. As well. Their base damage is less, but they attack faster. This uh, Acolyte gets a Coil. That was a nice first Nova. Killing one Footman. Did he kill a single Acolyte yet? Besides the one. So did he kill a second Acolyte yet? Don't think so. I think he only killed one, but uh, the, Ar the Lich now in trouble. We do have more coils though, to save the Lich. Where's that coil? Where's it? Oh, the coil's too late. The cooldown just was too high, too high. Lasted too long. The Lich goes down and TP out here. We have a fourth fiend, by the way, so he doesn't like, he doesn't play quite like, uh, like Happy does. Gets a fourth fiend, no second Slatter House, no, Early Black Citadel. That he uh, focuses more on some more fiends. Sk a lot of skeletons, man. So many skeletons. Archmage over here. We only have one tower over here. Uh oh. TH City Underbuild Towers. We have four fiends. But no Lich out yet. So, what's his tone of strength? He's gonna buy a Zeppelin. Oh, that's a Zeppelin! 
He's going into the back of the human base. Which base? Is he going to pick up the skeletons as well? No, they can just walk in. But there's a Shredder defending. The Shredder can kill everything that comes out of the Zeppelin in a matter of milliseconds. But maybe not fast enough because he cannot even get to the Fiends. One tower goes down. He picks up the units. He's afraid of the Zeppelin. Uh, the Shredder. Did I just call this the Shredder Zeppelin? Maybe. But uh, the, both the towers do go down. The Water Elemental in position to... to Get some attacks off on the Zeppelin. Here comes the Mr. Lich. Mr. Lich is going for expansion. We do have an Arcane Tower. It's like the only place in the, the entire map where we have an Arcane Tower. Building more towers. I'm not sure where the Zeppelin is. I'm sure where he is. He's over here. Such a nice game here. Statue, not sure what he was doing. I'm taking a farm. Sure that's the best use of a statue right now. He's uh, skeletons being killed. These are first Novas. We, well, we do have an unload here. Put your Death Knight in the Zeppelin. Please, don't lose all your mana. Too. No. So much mana loss. Okay, well... Um, WFC was too lazy to micro there. He could have micro but I think we're just too lazy to. <laughs> it was a very easy micro. Just put it in the Zeppelin and then uh, unload it again. So you can continue to attack. The Water Elemental and the Archmage just trying to do their best to, to do some damage on the Zeppelin. Shouldn't he bought his own Zeppelin already just to keep tabs on this Zeppelin? Maybe. Very nice here by WFC. Uses the other way around. He's getting Burrow, he's getting more uh, statues. Do have one more Fos Nova. Actually, probably two more. Two more Fos Novas available. Uh, uses one on the Water Elemental just so he can escape freely because the Zeppelin is pretty low on health points. Uh, TP out here. Can he kill the Lich? No, not with the Zeppelin. They're saving the Lich. What the Zeppelin. Look at that Zeppelin. That Goblin driving the Zeppelin is a hero. That Goblin should become the next Death Knight. The Goblin Death Knight. I think they forgot to add the Goblin Death Knight in... Um, Hearthstone in the Lich King Hearthstone expansion. We have some footmen over here. Do we have towers up yet? Nice for snow, but the towers are not up yet. So the footmen, they have to buy time. The theme, well, we do have plenty of footmen to buy time. Turn on the light in the background. There it is. Do we have more full snow of us? We don't for a while. Well, maybe in a few you know, 20 seconds or so. Death Knight also no more mana for Coil, but it doesn't matter. These footmen are not doing any damage. They're just buying time. It's the only thing they're doing. Uh, he's not even going for the statues. Okay, finally he's going for a statue with one water elemental. If this was romantic, he would have gone for these statues so much more aggressively. But maybe, maybe he didn't go for the statues because he knew he did some early damage. So he's not afraid of the destroyers. You know, we have three statues now and the towers are not up yet. Well, two of them are. We have one masonry upgrade. Does he get a second one? He is getting the second one, if he gets the same masonry upgrade. It's going to be huge. What is this? A sapper and a shredder? That's insane as well. The shredder is killing this uh, everything. The shredder is killing everything. That's what the shredders do. Let's see. About the shredder here. So he has a second shredder. Look at him killing this acolyte. There's the other shredder over here. He kills the acolyte and he flies away. We have uh, two acolytes, three acolytes left, but he doesn't have supply. He's supply blocked at uh, 40 out of 40. A player's four towers. Well, uh, he killed probably all the footmen. Look at all these bod bodies. They're all footmen bodies, but they they serve the purpose. They bought the time for the towers. They bought the time for masonry level two. Look how much hit points these towers have. 600 hit points, seven armor. That's a lot of hit points. And they don't, they are not affected by the orb of corruption. That's why towers are so good in this matchup. They're the only units. They're not really units, but uh, the only things that are not affected by the orb of corruption so they don't fall as fast the arcane tower is pretty important here but can he repair it he should probably repair it he should also probably be right clicking that lich or that uh, death knight when they were in rage like right oh, right now probably not in range but meanwhile we have uh what do we have here thing okay 
he has enough spine out to rebuild the acolytes. This arcane vault is slowly dying, slowly falling. We have two footmen with defend. We have a water elemental, level four archmage, throwing fireballs at these uh, statues. I mean, he's not going to push through this with destroyers. He needs a lot of them. He doesn't have enough. He needs some meat wagons. He's getting meat wagons. He's getting meat wagons. At least one. Uh, in the disease cloud, I want to see. Yes, yes, he's listening to me. WC is listening to me. Oh, we're Blizzard. Okay, Blizzard, interesting. Father Tom of retraining of the Blizzard. Blizzard is so good. Human players, they just know exactly when to get the Blizzard. Most of the times. Uh, we're getting a Knight, we're getting a Spellbreaker. What TH is. A Masonry level 3, that's gonna be insane. Oh, hello, Archmates, you wanna die? Sure, well, I'm just here to die. Why don't you kill me? I'm uh Oh, holy light, Stormbolt, he might <laughs> save the Archmage just Wow, that Archmage, I was so sure he was dead, but he did manage to save it. I was wondering maybe if he had the staff on a different hero, he could have saved him. Instead with the holy light, I didn't even see the paladin, so I d I didn't know. I didn't know. The knights are still zero zero. He's getting the first armor upgrade. He have workshops at all? He has two shredders. <laughs> he has so much lumber. If you just cut some more trees, he will cut the entire map. And yeah, Mount King creeping here with the knight. Put all there on the. Uh, okay, we do have this one meat wagon, and he does have disease cloud. We have a second meat wagon. No abomination. Just one meat wagon, just to kill the peons. One meat, one meat wagon is not enough to kill the town hall. Usually. Oh, there's a nice Stormwall, there's some Blizzard, there's a uh, well, Stormwall on the Dark Ranger, so she cannot silence, or she did silence. She didn't silence the Archmage, she silenced the, the Paladin. Did he just devour it? No. For a second I was like, did he just devour his own silence? Just to get the mana on the Destroyer, but no, that didn't happen. Silence level 1 doesn't last too long on Heroes. Meat Wagon. And he has some more beautiful Blizzards. The snow is also so beautiful. While it's raining, snowing, it's, it's it's like when you see a blizzard on a map where it's raining, it's like it's raining, it's snowing, and it's hailing at the same time. It's so beautiful. So many things falling from the sky here. It's so beautiful. It's it's just perfect. Yes, we don't need Warcraft 3 Remastered. It's already perfect. Warcraft already perfect. Beautiful storm there on the Fiend and well, Foss Armor. Uh, the fiend will never die. The paladin, however, needs a staff. He gets staffed out. We have a staff both on the mountain king and on the archmage. This peasant here could be killed here by the by the destroyer, but he doesn't go for it. Instead, he dispels the paladin, and the paladin actually had maybe time to heal that uh, that acolyte, not acolyte peasant. The shredders have been summoned to do TH's bidding, but I don't know. WFC seems to have the stronger army still. No way, uh, TH can win this fight. The uh, Mount King, very long hit points to get staffed out. The, knight, the Shredders aren't even attacking. The Knights are blocking them, so are the Spellbreakers. Look at these Shredders, they're the highest DPS in the world. But not if they're just not attacking. That Knight went down, a beautiful Blizzard here, but he got silenced. TH cannot win this fight just yet. Do we have. Uh, why did he take this fight? Sure, maybe as a peasant, yeah, his peasants were about to die. He still has so much mana here on the Lich. Didn't even use the Frost Nova yet. Could you use the Frost Nova at any point? Kill that uh, palad Paladin. Getting more upgrades. 1-1 one, one now. Dead or 1-0. Peasants are all dying. They're all dead in a second here. So sick. Look at them. 20, 19, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Oh, that peasant just exploded. That poor little sick peasant. Meatwagon is just gonna keep killing those peasants. Meanwhile, uh. Some more skirmishes. Not a splatter, is what I heard. On a peasant here with two hit points, but he keeps surviving. He keeps working on. Doesn't care. He doesn't care that he's sick. Doesn't care that he's being seized upon. Oh, I think he just splattered. 
Yeah, he's just splattered. He's gone. Uh, Arcane Tower went down as well. This town hall is going down. T8 doesn't seem like he can defend it. Maybe I was wrong here for TH showing me how to uh, fend this off. Top down on one spellbreaker. A uh, lot of silence here on the both the paladin and the mountain king. The uh, mountain king in trouble. He does still have a staff, and he stops out the mountain king. We have more fiends, uh, knights. I mean, two knights and two spell, four spellbreakers. The paladin is dead. Uh, no, no fiend has died like in forever. I feel like. What? When is a long time I saw a fiend? Last time I saw a fiend die. Eh? Maybe not a single fiend has died in this game. Did see? Okay, there uh, the fiend dies. <laughs> and the Archmage is also dead, so I think that's GG. I think we'll have a 1-1. One, one. We have purple against pink. Of course, uh, WZ in the pink. And of course, TH in the purple. Isn't that just beautiful? It's like, it's like almost the same color, but not quite. I, I like these colors. Pink versus purple. There is a, a crypt. Crypt here for WZ. The altar. The Ziggurat crypt. Are we gonna see a shop maybe? Maybe with this acolyte. Six acolytes gonna build a shop. Where are the where is gonna build a shop? Over here? Over here. Because the graveyard needs to be built over here, I guess. Doesn't have any any other place to build a graveyard unless he can cut this tree. Maybe he can build a graveyard over there. Of course, the shop here in the front is very uh, vulnerable. Very vulnerable to Mr. Archmage, Mr. Footman. Is this a graveyard? There is a graveyard. The five gravestones. Are these gravestones? Kind of look like gravestones, but on this on the other hand. Oh, yeah, if you look from the side, they actually have wings. I bet no one of you guys knew that. Can I get a good angle? Let me get a better, better angle here. These trees are in the way, maybe from the other side. Look. You see those wings? I bet no one knew these guys had uh, wings, these gravestones. These are, of course, gravestones of ghouls. As you can see them a little bit, these wings from the top. Death Knight is out, buy some skeletons and uh, start doing whatever he does. Archmates, we have Shell Light Bender. Light Binder? Light Binder. <laughs> he's not a Light Bender, he's not from Ava Avatar. He's just a level 1 Archmage. He's killing this, uh, this level, this ogre. Picks up the Ring of Protection. Not the item he really wanted there, but sh sure, whatever. He can't complain. It's mean. I mean, what's he gonna do? Send a letter to Blizzard. I played a very important match against WFZ. And my Shaw Lightbinder got the Ring of Protection. That's not gonna do much. Well, we do have a better item here for uh, for WFZ. Circlet. Circlet. Okay, so what do we have here? We have uh, three ghouls. And a death knight. And six acolytes. 6, 12, 17. Is he a 17 supply? WC is a 20 because he's making a fiend. Okay, makes sense. But he doesn't have a second burrow yet. Uh, I mean, a second Nerubian tower. I didn't say burrow. I said not Nerubian tower either. I mean a Ziggurat. Ziggurat. It's with a T, right? Not with a TH. But he's not planning to build one anytime soon. The Demon Hunter or Death Knight is hunting down his footman. One more hit and one more coil and that footman is so dead. Look at that footman, he's dead. He's no longer a footman. Did these uh, skeletons do anything else besides creeping? He's gonna finish this with two ghouls. He's gonna, uh, there's some skeletons. Where are they? Here they are. They're fighting for Mr. Baron Bloodmane. He's level two now. Archmage is also level two with a lot of rings for protections. He's so protected with these rings. The time is going up. He has another footman over here. And let's see if he can defend this expansion this game. Or if he's gonna get owned. Or if he's gonna lose again like last game. Archmage with three footmen against one fiend. You, you know, the footmen are just fine. One fiend doesn't really kill footmen fast enough with a peasant. 58 uh, hit points. This peasant is, is stuck. He's dead. GG peasant. 
<laughs> at least he spent his last... Uh, he realized he was dead and he spent his last effort to build the tunnel. There's the third peasant that's going to die. Oh, it... Nice round, TH. Nice round, TH. Uh, doesn't call the peasant because he knew it was about to hit, uh, enter the gold mine. So he cancelled the coil and waited for the peasant to get out of the gold mine. Then he coiled it. So three peasants that there. The death knight had to TP out though and he took a lot of damage. Not insane amounts of damage, but... Slightly insane amount of damage. House of that has been uh, upgraded. He has two ziggurats. Ziggurats. Do you pronounce it as? I I pronounce them as ziggurat, but I guess they're not ziggurats. They're ziggurats. Ziggurats. Yes, three ziggurats and one uh, tower. Slaughterhouse. Maybe they should change the name to ziggurat though. Ziggurats. Instead of cigarettes. Makes more sense to me. We have a close of deck now on the Archmage. Oh, a nice coil there on the Water Mental. I'm sure he got XP for that. What do we have over here? Skeleton Scouting. We see a uh, keep here for TH. TH is just throwing all those fireballs. Imagine if these were close of attack as well. He would be doing plus 21 damage. Instead, he got these stupid rings of protection that no one wants. He only does plus 9 damage. Plus 4 armor. Gets a staff. Of course, you're not gonna sell those rings. I mean, it's not worth selling them, but. Well, here's the Death Knight. Five footmen. Hey, Chaco, how have you been? I've been doing great. We've seen some very good games today. We're actually in a very good game right now. This Berserker is being nuked, coiled, not coiled, Fosnovat, and maybe a coil will kill him. He can coil, but he's, uh, yeah, he coils him. Maybe he wanted to save the coil because it was his last coil and he could have killed it probably with his sword as well, but it's just going to take so long. Instead he uh, coiled and goes back with the aura and the attack. He can do some damage against the footman. One footman went down. We have too many skeletons and ghouls here for this footman to do anything. This footman uh, is being slow. He's going to die the skeleton block, maybe. There are some blocks. There's... Oh, they missed a full block. And now he survives with 16 hit points, but the skeleton might be able to reach him. No, the Death Knight is going for him himself. We have Din, Frostfire, of course, very scary, uh, very scary, how do you call him? Lich, very scary Lich, because the Frostfire spreads across the world. The Archmage now has a second close of attack, it's plus 15 damage. He maybe should sell these rings for protection and buy more close of attacks, so he can kill uh, Acolytes in one shot. Or maybe not one shot. That's maybe a bit too uh, too much. Uh, so guys, hey to Tunatic 07. I just missed the important meeting because I overslept. But screw it, I'm watching Tuck TV instead. Hey, that is it. Are you overslept instead? Are you kind of, some kind of poet? No, are you a poet? Because that sounded very nice. That sounded so beautiful. I wish I could talk uh, in beautiful sentences like that. Anyway, the. Oh, beautiful summon there, water metal in the base. I found out that Back to Workout will cast GCS Qualifier tomorrow, so maybe you can cast Crazy Random Cup tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Uh, no, I, I will also cast GCS tomorrow. There's just too many games for one streamer anyway. Um, I can cast the games they are not casting. This uh, Acolyte. Still alive. We have six Acolytes here, by the way. I was going for these, uh, these two footmen, they're not gonna kill anything. All players are random. Yeah. I think I, yeah, I heard about the cup, but uh, the third, the first thing I, I thought was like, hey, that's during GCS, that's kind of bad timing. Uh, Tome of Intelligence picked up. There is the lumber mill, improved lumber harvesting. After this advanced masonry, taco taco. Hey Hundesan, welcome back, 69. So the Archmage, level three, still, but uh, getting close to level four. With this footman, will it survive? It does survive, 23 hit points. Uh, destroyer upgrade is done. How many statues does he have? Three statues, is that enough? No. Oh, well, level one masonry only. Where's the level two masonry? Oh, still, still very far away. Can he do something with 
three destroyers. I uh, kind of want a fourth one. We kind of want a fourth one, but he doesn't have a fourth one. It, does he have to go all in here? Does he have to go all in? He summons some skeletons. Five skull towers and one arcane tower. He only goes in with two destroyers and one statue to heal back up, I guess. Makes sense. Does get one tower. I guess it's not completely all in, but he's going in. He's going in. Not all in, just in. Uh, the destroyers are micro out. A beautiful blizzard here. Beautiful. Look at that. Well, the fiends did get micro out, but some of the heroes taking the damage. The Mountain King uh, throwing storm bolts. Oh, the Archmage in trouble. Does he have the TP? Oh, he had some kind of healing item, something. Oh, the Death Knight now in trouble. Watch out for more storm bolts. Oh, we don't have more storm bolts. Maybe he should buy Clarity. Maybe he should buy Clarity. We don't have any footmen anymore, being annoying. We have uh, three scout towers here. Getting a priest, and he's getting magic sentry. Why is he getting magic sentry? I don't understand. Why is he not upgrading this tower? Maybe for a uh, for reveal. No, but I love poets. Let me tell you a secret. When I was a child, I always mistook poet and poem. It was so hard for me to understand whether a poet recites poems or a poem re <laughs> recites poets. <laughs> That's so cute. A player's forces are under attack. There's a nice uh, a blizzard. All these murlocs are dying. The Arkham is very close to level 4. Oh, he needs 7 more XP. 7 more. There is a uh, blizzard. Does it silence? No silence. He has level one uh, arrow. Go for the archmage. Oh, so many skeletons here. The peasants st stop blocking your king, peasants. Uh, the mountain king goes down, and the archmage TPs. This uh, power. I guess he's not really the king. The commander. The commander. He's not. These peasants are civilians, so I guess they're not really uh, servants. The commander, lieutenant, and he defend this with just blizzards and towers. I don't know. We have one priest healing the peasants. There's another nice blizzard. We still have five towers up. Of course, he does have level two masonry. Is he a tier three? He is a tier three. Where's the masonry level three? Uh, th most important upgrade of the game. He forgets it. He just maybe he doesn't think it's uh, important enough. We have a spellbreaker over here defending the north side of the town hall. He's getting more uh, peasants because he's out of peasants. He had one left. There's level four archmage. When's the mountain king back? Well, there he is. Where's the paladin? There he is. And meanwhile, anything else for 120? Nothing special, really. Just uh, nothing really at all. But we see he went over 50, by the way. He's at 52 supplies. So he's uh, you know, supply stock. Well, not supply stock. Uh, tax. Tax. How do you call it? He's paying tax. He's in low upkeep. Meow. Thanks for the host. Again, back to Warcraft. Two days in a row, I get hosted by uh, back to Warcraft. Thanks a lot. So um, he's going for the Arcane Vault. The Death Knight is almost level four. Do you think that indicates that my IQ was <laughs> 65? <laughs> Maybe it was when you were young. Here it is, Blizzard Lamer again, he saw it from his boyfriend Infi. I don't know, like, what's wrong with getting Blizzard? You need the Blizzard to defend against these uh, fiends. I don't think this is any any lame at all. We have two uh, knights here, he's going for this, uh, this fiend, but he get Frost Armor, Frost Armor is so good. The fiend does go down, this is a beautiful kill there by TH. The Blizzard on the, on the grass. The Mountain King, can he save the Mountain King? There's a Holy Light on the Mountain King. Do we have Staff, by the way? Well, we have Staff of Teleportation, but that was not what I was talking about. Do we have Staff of... Um, how do you call it again? Staff of... Where is Arcane Vault? Oh, he doesn't have Arcane Vault anymore. It's not Preservation, it's uh, something else, but the Human Staff. He doesn't have it, he doesn't have Arcane Vault. There's some nice Blizzards again. Uh, Frost Nova. Soon we'll have another Frost Nova. Oh, this TH had a Senti Ward over here. Also has a tower over here because WC is building expansion. 
Yes, Sentry Ward over here as well, but it's uh, about to expire. Warriors going for the Knights. Of course, they do double damage against Knights. These Knights are just going to creep. They're like, who cares? We have a Paladin. He will protect us from the evil destroyers. Also, the Archmage. Throwing some fireballs. Did he give his claws? He had a close of attack to the Mountain King? Yeah. Mountain King has a close. Wait. This is a different close of attack. I, I'm pretty sure I had a close of attack plus 9. He must have sold it. He must have been. Uh... Wait, there's no more creeps here. He was probably expecting here to be, still be Murlocs. But uh, WC created at some point. Kill the tower there. He's going for his own expansion. 50 spike is 64. WC is 64. He's building more acolytes, of course. He's building more boom nations. What do we have over here? We see griffins. We see uh, level 3 masonry. Most important upgrade of the game. You also have has reveal available here on this tower. On reveal available. Has a priest over here. He's not even healing the knight. Come on, priest. Heal your knight. Isn't he your ally? I was just sure. Stavos Sanctuary. That's right, Tim uh, Timothy 7. No staff of Sanctuary. Oh, he does have one now, by the way. He does have a shop up somewhere. Here it is. Arcane Vault. And there's a blizzard on the Acolytes. None of the Acolytes died. Abomination fight against the Paladin. For the Mount King with his, uh, his Knights and his Spellbreakers just walking across the map. Some more blizzards here, this time on the buildings. Sure. Did he kill one acolyte? I only see four acolytes. The only four acolytes. Also has four acolytes here. Four and four is eight. Oh, okay. The acolytes got moved again. Oh, he has five now. Maybe he rebuilt one or maybe it was hidden somewhere. <clears throat> this abomination does go down. There's a coil on the paladin, but he gets staffed out. So the coil missed uh, the dark ranger. That's the info poison used at the last moment. She has 15 health left. Uh, the griffin goes down, the fiend goes down. The fiend over here gets storm bolted. He's dead as well. The knight is my god out, but he gets coiled from behind and he dies. We have a lot of statues here and, and a few destroyers. Uh, we could maybe morph some more if he has... If he has what? Why is he not morphing more? If he has a reason to. If he has a reason to morph more, he could morph more. But he probably wants to keep them so he can uh, drain drain the mana with the statues when he attacks. Maybe kill some more towers. Why don't that go for mass wagons against expansion? Is that not feasible? I mean, sometimes you see uh, players like Happy, for example, go like three, four wagons even. So you do see it. Because of Blizzard. Hi Prop, welcome back. And well, we have some more creeping going on. We have a few more creeps left on the map. Some uh, green creeps. And uh, some orange creeps. And that's it actually. Only those three creep camps here near, near WFC's base. This Archmage saying just hi to Coil Nova. He's like, yeah, I love Coil Nova. He uses the info potion. He will have to stop out or TP even. Yeah, he cannot stop. He's going to die if he stops. TP. Necropolis over here. We have uh, Temple of the Damned. Are we going to see Necromancers? No. We're going to see Banshees, of course. I want to see Necromancers, damn it. But we're going to see mag uh, Banshees with anti magic shell, giving everything a nice green shell. Very confusing. Well, at least it's not on that versus on that. Where everything has a green shell. Okay, this tower, these uh, destroyers now, exactly what I was talking about earlier with uh, absorbing the mana from the statues, then turning them into destroyers, killing everything. If uh, WC cannot fight here, he's dead. He has to win this fight. But uh, he has nothing against the destroyers. He's just going all in against the ground units, against the heroes, against the fiends, against the statues. Uh, of course, griffins kill the statues very fast, but not if they're dying first to the destroyers. One uh, griffin already dead, and a TP out here for uh, WFZ. Uh, well, he did manage to defend. Do we have no flying machines or anything? We have more griffins. He's just ignoring the destroyers completely. I don't think it's gonna work this game. Do you think creeps do creepy things? Uh, no. 
Creeps don't do anything creepy. They just sit there. They live their own life. You know who does creepy things? Blademaster. Blademaster is stalking you while invisible. Same for uh, you know, the Death Knight. He does it while he is visible though. But he does it on a horse. I mean, anything is more creepy if you do it on a horse. Sam the Defender and the Archmage. Go for some more harass. He needs to kill some Acolytes. But I don't think he will kill any. Still has only level 2 Blizzard. Uh, meanwhile, he did creep the creeps there. The, the Griffins are 2 0. The Knights are 2 and 1. The Destroyers are 0 and 0. So any, so at least TH has the uh, upgrade advantage. The Argonites, he doesn't. Well, how is he going to get out of there? Use the staff. The, the Mountain King in a bit of. Uh, I mean, the Paladin. Well, he still has the Divine Shield. So I guess he can be a bit risky. Just walking around the Argonites. No TP here, by the way. 48, no TP, and here is gonna. Well, what do we have here? Four fiends. We have uh, a few destroyers. So maybe BM is a creep. In fact, how about that? <laughs> well, if he's creepy, does that mean he's a creep? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it works like that. There's cloud on the towers, and uh, what's he going to do? Kill some buildings. He cannot TP out. Cannot TP out because he does not have a TP. So what's he gonna do when the undead comes from behind? He's just gonna going to walk home maybe. He's gonna go for the fight with the knights. The knights of course very good against the fiends. The destroyers of course very good against uh, pretty much everything. Well, yeah. They go for a uh, griffin. But going for the griffins does give the knights the time to go for the fiends. The second griffin is going to die as well. We have one griffin over here and a TP out here for the WFZ. To which base? To the base on top. There it is. Uh, this griffin is dead as well, so all three griffins died. Well, uh, well, TH didn't kill anything, just forced the TP, I believe. Oh, he killed two fiends, actually, never mind. He killed two fiends. Start of the fight. Beautiful blizzard, these acolytes, they do survive. A silence on the archmage, so the acolytes survive. Also, silence here on the paladin. Oh, one knight goes down and turns into a skeleton. The depth of the paladin does get stopped out by the staff of sanctuary. We have three one upgrades now on the knights and the sp uh, spellbreakers. The destroyers are still zero zero. Do we get any flying machines at all at any point? No, he's just. Oh, never mind. Yes, there they are. Unless he's going tanks, which uh, well we only have one tower up. Like TH uh, defended his expansion by playing very aggressively, but he can't anymore. Well, I mean he still can, but he is in fact. But uh, it's not. Oh, his argument's in trouble. Just, if these ghouls, if he was, if WFZ was a bit, might going a bit more aggressively with those ghouls instead of Mike going over here, I think he could have killed the Archmage just with the ghouls, just uh, dodging the blizzard. Uh, go for the Archmage the moment they could. Oh, these statues, what are these statues doing? These statues are just dying for free. This one might, this one might still become a destroyer though. There it is, Mr. Destroyer now. These knights dying so fast. Well, kind of fast. Actually, that one got stopped out. Uh, this knight dying for kind of fast. This knight. Next, of course. And uh, this doesn't look good for TH. Does he have... Is he making flying machines? He has two flying machines. Is that enough? Two fl okay, he lost the Archmage, but whatever. It's two flying machines enough against five destroyers. There it is. No. The answer is no. Two flying machines is not enough. Of course we know this. So obviously, he wins this game. Uh, best of three between TH and Remind for the last spot or of Group B, the second spot of Group B for uh, the well the round of eight for the playoffs. Eight. So what do we have here? We have an uh, altar against uh, altar in the barracks. What a nice start. Nothing strange so far. Oh, do we see a, a warden? Are we going to see a warden for uh, Remind? Remind is he a warden player? I'm not sure actually. He might still just it might still just be a demon hunter. Even though he builds his Ancient of War here, might still be a demon hunter. Okay, it is a demon hunter. Whew. No reason to panic. Uh, why have you zoomed so close, bro? Uh, the reason is that it's 
strat you know the the screen is stretched right uh, the reason it's stretched is because my uh, 16 by 9 hack kind of like a hack uh, doesn't work in these official games because of protection because it would give an unfair advantage if people actually used it to uh in the tournaments so yeah i i cannot uh i cannot make it look any better than this this is what we have to deal with unless i do it four by three then it looks a bit more normal but, uh, oh well do you know there's uh star scraping over here we have a, a peasant did he do some damage over there Talking about the... Uh, oh, he's, he bought the Forest Soul Shadow Priest. TH bought the Forest Soul Shadow Priest. The Demon Hunter gets a nice pendant. And uh, that's nice, but not that nice on the Demon Hunter. Actually, this is probably one of the worst items. It might be useful on the second hero later on the Panda, of course. Or not might be. It's definitely going to be very useful on the Panda. So, I guess it's not that bad of an item. But if he, if he was planning to get a Naga second... I like it a bit less. Depends how the game goes, of course. What do we have over here? We have a peasant cutting off the tree. Cutting up the tree. The Archmage creeping over here with two water elementals. Close of haste. Gets a tome of intelligence plus two. Look how smart he is. 24 intelligence here on the Archmage. Can you raise the game sound a little bit? Sure. I've been uh, raising it and raising it little by little. People keep telling me uh, still too low. Is that good? Maybe that's a bit too high this also on the music the music is fine right i think the music is fine let me tell uh tell me if you want a little bit more maybe uh i don't know if it was big enough to make a difference there. archer hiding over here uh, we don't have dust yet, of course, because there's only one shop. And he didn't go to the shop yet. Even though stopping it, he has Immolation, sec uh, immolation and Mana Burn. That's not the combination we see very often. Uh, the peasants were already in position to... Uh, to found the Demon Hunter there, being micro out. Not a single peasant killed. Beautiful by TH, but all his peasants are so low. If we see a fast panda, we're definitely going to see a panda, by the way. Well, please do oh, and of course the uh, panda of energy. Pendant of energy helping with the immolation as well. I guess I forgot about that. I was talking about the pendant of energy. I'm not sure what happened here. Was there still a creep left? Anyway, we have a berserker. And a first of all, set of priest now over here for a remind. And I would like to see panda and kill all these peasants. That's gonna be so nice. I'm gonna be so satisfied when I see those. Yeah, better not, thanks. Great. Uh, is he tier 2 yet? Not yet, of course, else we would have seen the panda already. It's gonna go over here. I mean, these peasants are very low as well. No towers. TH is just, uh, depending on his aggressive play, he doesn't need any defensive towers. Very smart if he uh, pulls it off, of course. Doesn't Isn't very smart if he doesn't pull it off. Because now the demon hunter can kill the peasants for free. Uh, but he's gonna lose one wisp, so I guess he can't really go free to just trading we're trading uh, peasants for wisps <laughs> is he actually going for the sea of ages he might be able to get it the demon hunter is killing uh well units what is this the hunter's hole where's that panda okay he did go for the naga i guess he uh, had no choice here or did he, he did kind of have a choice he could have gone panda uh, okay but he decides on naga and decides to defend this he uh must he has to uh, repair his tree of ages pretty soon is he forgetting to repair where's the repair oh so late does is it still on time it might still be on time okay this is beautiful here by remind he knows exactly of course he's a veteran he knows exactly how much time he has there's still three footmen and uh, four footmen and an you come more whisper repairing again this uh, wisp needs to be micro no it goes down uh this this wisp also that this wisp also that he's down to like a few wisps but how many footmen do we have left still three footmen he needs to go one more time with the wisp uh he goes it focuses the archmage so that's the most dps gone there oh but we have a waterman elemental being summoned one more footman going down meanwhile what's the demon hunter doing i don't know where the demon hunter is even did he die did the demon hunter just die against the footman wait what heroes killed one the demon hunter died against militia <laughs> 
guess he didn't pay attention. Uh, I didn't pay attention either, so I guess I can't blame him. GG. TH in the purple, Remind in the yellow. Beautiful, beautiful game. That's what we got here, a beautiful game. A Demon Hunter first again, no Warden. And here we have a, an Art Mage. A Footman. Anything we can talk about so far. Nothing really here for TH. What about Remind? Well, the militia being annoying means that he has a lot harder time to creep this. He cannot really use the lightning shield, kill three of the creeps at the same time. Very nice play there by TH. Waking up those creeps with the militia. As you see, there's no lightning shield on this archer. And whose fault is that? It's a militia's fault. Peasant. There's a footman. Even another picks up that uh, item, ring of protection. Not the greatest item. But it might be useful uh, after uh, once he starts killing those uh, peasants with the emulation again. Meanwhile, we have uh, Archmage creeping over here. Picking up the Tome of Strength, maybe the Ring of Protection as well. Yes, that's very nice. Uh, nice Gondolf Ogre Strength over here. Nice. Getting some more of these guys. Oh, so nice. So beautiful. All those units dying. Look at them die. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that cute? That's all I ever wanted. Uh, he's going for the expansion right now. That's a bit early. Is that Kenny? Yeah, he's going for it. This is normal timing because the Demon Hunter knows about it. He's on his way. Just that he only had foot, two footmen. But here is the third footman. Does he have more? Uh, did he have a scouting footman still somewhere? Yeah, there it is. Footman number four. Uh, there's the emulation. The Clock of Shadows. The ring of protection. So bad are these items for both players. One uh, peasant dying to the creeps there. One peasant dying to the blade master. Uh, not blade master. Demon hunter. He's dead. Nice detonate there. Gets one uh, water elemental, I think. Yeah, he probably. Uh, he definitely got the XP there. Gets this peasant as well, and he's hiding. Cloak of shadows. I guess. I should have uh, thought before I spoke because it's very useful over here. But he could have gotten a better item. He has to TP out. Killed like what? On to two units, three. This one got killed by the creeps though. I think he got XP for three, killed four if you uh, count the help of the creeps and a footman. So Demon Hunter is on his way back. Some of these units very low on health, uh, especially this and this footman. The, the archer as well. Do we have a farm? No, we don't have a farm near this uh, golden laboratory, so you cannot reveal. There's a Demon Hunter though. Going for this uh, footman, this archer helping. Yeah, go for the other footman. Both footmen survive. Beautiful footman control there by TH. They're blocking with the water elemental. No, no, why not? Why not TH? Was that lazy? Was that inability? Was, that, was he microing something else? Oh no, the footman! <laughs> Two footmen against one archer. Who wins this? Yes, the archer wins this. Archer too strong. Okay, one footman does get away safely. Hey all, hey cheer on. Welcome back to the stream. So, uh, Hunter's Hall is up. Is he at tier 2 yet? Almost. Is he going Naga or Panda this game? Uh, I assume Panda. Players forces are under attack. I assume Panda, but we'll see. It's kind of a different game as, as last game. Hey. X, exo, Lodl, underscore, 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 underscore. Are there like five underscores? Doesn't have banner burn. We do have boots here on the Archmage. Oh, does he get that kill? Yes. These two archers, it's gonna be so difficult to kill any of these. There's the Naga. He goes Naga again. Interesting. I guess once a Naga player, always a Naga player. Once you go Naga, you can't go back to Panda. That's what we've learned so far. No boots though on the Naga or the Demon Hunter. The Archmage. The boots are so scary. No dust though, so the archers not in too much danger. 
This is mana potion. A greater mana potion, I guess, that he got from the creep camp. Remember, there's no mana burn, so he can just do whatever he wants. Level 2 water elementals, pretty strong. Uh, what do we have here? Ancient of Lore, what do we have here? Ancient of Lore, what do we have here? Ancient of Wonders. Six, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one. Underscore. So, there you got the sixth one. There's another footman. Lumber mill going up. Which doesn't mean too much. Does he have a shredder? Does he have a shredder? I don't see one. No shredder. Uh, we don't have expansion for Night Elf. At least no early one. Might get one later. I mean, it's not... Uh, not strange to get the expansion later here. He's getting dry. He's getting the upgrade to the dispel. This water elemental will probably expire instead of die. Uh, 74 hit points with it expired. No XP given there. Of course, level 2 water elementals give a lot of XP. 58 uh, divided by 229 wouldn't be enough for level 3. Even if he got the full 58 on the Demon Hunter, it'd still not be enough. Does he have Dispel? Dispel? No Dispel yet. Just a little bit longer. Oh, the Naga in trouble. Does he have Staff or anything? Nothing. Naga's dead. GG Naga. Beautiful block this time. He uh, he heard me last time about the Water Elemental block. Uh, and he was... Uh, maybe... He heard me now. He heard me this time, so... That was a beautiful water or elemental block. This footman died. This footman is dead as well. That is a unsummoned uh, water elemental or dispelled. So we have a level 3 blade master. Not a blade master. Demon hunter with level 1 mana burn. Hey, got rank 9 on the Slither 10k score. Nice. But thank you for the game. Saw from Chaco. Uh, I actually... Uh, one of my viewers or my, my mod, Vex. Vexorg told me about that game. So you should actually be thanking him. This uh, footman is dead. Uh, well, no feedback. Feedback doesn't work, of course, on the dryads. Uh, oh, but the demon hunter is surrounded. Can he find his way out? There's three footmen on this si side, but he's trying. There's only two footmen left, but we have a lot of ranged units here. Trying to kill this footman. This footman is Michael out. He should probably already switch to this one way earlier. Let that one live, maybe. Or maybe this is smarter anyway, because that footman did damage. But the demon hunter is dead. He's a dead demon hunter. And the Naga is back, though. Naga is back. Demon hunter was level 3, though. So it's going to take some time before he gets back. Maybe he's going to buy it back at the tavern. This guy gets dispelled. Uh, Riot is dead. There's the demon hunter. This try dying as well. So nice play here by TH. Just killing everything. Even though he has like nothing, but he kills everything anyway. Level 4 Archmage with the boots. Demon Hunter is almost level 4. Naga is almost level 2. Uh, Tree of Eternity is almost completed. Hmm. Okay, we have a flying ship. I think uh, one of my first games of Snake today, I got like rank 3 with like 20, 25,000 or so. But there was no pressure. I do much better when there's no pressure on me to perform, apparently. We have uh, two Arcane Sanctums there. He's building a Rifleman. Does he have a workshop? No workshop. Back upgrade for his melee units. Zero, zero. Zero, zero on the Rifleman as well. That guy. Why blood mage? Oh, we have a blood mage second. <laughs> we have a blood mage second. Uh, that's nice. Blood mage, of course, is very nice because he can steal mana. But there's no panda. No panda to steal the mana from. But there is, of course, banish. I mean, I think the blood mage is still worth it, even if you don't see a panda. Can steal mana from the bears, the demon hunter, Naga. Is he going? Uh, is he even going banished? Sometimes we just see flame strike. We'll see. Curse bone Chime is not that great. You'll see. You'll see why. Rakusui, you'll see why the blood mage in a little bit. 
I think rather than me trying to explain it, TH will show you how strong the blood mage is. 67 against 50. Just stick to the big snakes till I get high scored and I run and play care. What do you mean? Just follow the big snakes and wait till they die? That's the strategy. Um, do we have a fight here? A player's forces are under attack. Zero zero on the bears. A TP out here for TH. Yes, he's not showing you the blood mage just yet. It's just level one anyway. I got level three. He likes uh, blood mage versus bears, yeah. And BLM. I mean, uh, we see a lot of blood mage nowadays. Romantic also plays blood mage often against uh, Night Elf. A player's forces are Man, I like blood mage a lot. Like, he's so strong. Five. It's almost up. Alright, is there somewhere I can watch this day of matches from the beginning? Are you moon uh, my stream from the beginning today? Yeah, I mean, you can watch it uh, in the vault section. Also, I will upload it on YouTube later. But if you want to see it right now, you, you have to go to the vault section. There's a nice mana burn on the blood mage, and there's Banish, by the way. So no flame strike just yet, but he could retrain later if he's like level 4 or 5. There's a TP out here on the Arc Mage. That's a nice uh, uh, for lightning killing that. Uh, that that rifleman that was banished. Uh, we might also see, by the way, on level four, level one flame strike. I think I've seen that before. So on level three, of course, you get level two siphon mana, and then level four, you get level one flame strike. Have a shutter out with uh, what are the upgrades? Rifleman zero zero, spellbreakers are one zero, the bears are zero zero. Expansion was cancelled. Was it killed? In fact, <laughs> you can see how much I'm I'm paying attention. Probably pay a bit more attention. Read a little bit less chat. We have a level 5 Demon Hunter, level 3 Naga. A player's forces are under attack. Level 4 Archmage, level 2 Blood Mage. And Shredder, we have uh, 80 supply against 50, so we have a 30 supply lead here for TH. But can he win a fight? Last two times he TP'd out. Even though he had the supply lead, but now he has a 30 supply lead. That's a lot of a supply lead. That's a pretty big supply lead. We also have the anti magic potion here. Do we have a fight here? There's a mana burn on the sources. It gets nuked there by the fork lightning. Uh, mana stolen here by from the demon hunter. But he still has plenty of mana to steal in the future. There we have a pit lord third, by the way. Do we see that uh, rain of fire? That's interesting. Have I ever seen this before? Pit lord third against the. Uh, Human. Rima playing some very interesting heroes today. He also was playing Keeper against him that earlier. These, uh, these militia are dying pretty fast. The bear's dying fast though. There's not much left here for Rima. He, was, he didn't have much in the first place. He was like 24 supply behind this uh, pit lord. Is dead. The demon hunter uh, doesn't have a staff. The Naga. What is Naga doing over here? Why is the Naga AFK? Hello Naga. Well this is GG I think. Well the Naga is coming. Well she's not even being my code. She just found the spellbreaker and she she's naturally she's going, coming back. She gets all her mana stolen, she uses the fork lightning. The demon hunter going for the berserker, but he survives. We don't have mana for another fork lightning to kill the berserker. Uh, we have, what do we have left here for a remind? 36 supply. What do you have for T8? 76 supply. It is uh, looking like this game is going to be over in a, in a second here. You can't banish the Naga. Where's the banish? TH, banish. You're in range. She, oh, well, I, I don't know. Could have banished the Naga easy peasy, then slowed her, and then surrounded her easy peasy. But maybe he wants to give a reminder chance here still. Maybe he doesn't want to make it too one-sided. Very, uh, thanks, TH. Thanks a lot for making it a bit more exciting. We have a frog here sitting around. There goes the Angel of War. Selfish Naga, <laughs> just trying to save, save herself. Where you live, dude? I live in the Netherlands. Well, let's see some beautiful micro here where you might. If you can pick a unit up one for one, never lose something. 
Maybe he has his chance, maybe. But he kills the uh, Spellbreaker there, so that's the start. This priest is still alive. He got banished, saves himself. The Naga stops out the Demon Hunter. That attack does zero, do zero damage, of course. Five drives here. The Naga, an Archer, the Demon Hunter. They're the special forces here for Remind. Trying to kill this army of TH. Chaco, will you put this video on YouTube? Yes, I will. And I will edit all the snakes out. All the snake games in between games. All the waiting between the games. I will edit it out. Nice mana burn there on the Arc Mage. Level 5 Arc Mage, level 3 Blood Mage with level 2 Siphon Mana. Six of the Mantle of Intelligence. Do you work or do you stream full time, Chaco? I don't work at the moment. So yeah, I guess I full stream. I uh, stream full time. But I cannot really say I'm a full time streamer. Granite Golem. Uh, he's creeping Granite Golem. Another nice uh, mana burn there on the Archmage. He's stealing the mana there from the Pit Lord, but the Pit Lord did get one win and fire off. The Demon Hunter, very low on hit points, uses an anti magic shell, but he is still very low. He needs to be stopped out. The Naga has a stop. He stops out the Demon Hunter. This bear, by the way, in human form, should probably use a Regenovation on this Dryad or something nice with his mana before he dies. These other bears are going to die as well. Oh, is he going to survive? The Archmage does not have the boots anymore. The Blood Mage has the boots, so the bear. Is still going to die anyway. First the archer, first the other bear, but now it's his turn to die. We have three wisps here. They're gonna detonate. Oh, beautiful detonates. That's just so nice. 50 supply for Remind, 78 for TH. You made me tired for my work. <laughs> I'm sorry, Perkies. Uh, there was a nice storm ball there on the blood mage from the creeps from the rock column. Uh, the demon hunter, by the way, GG. Okay, that game was already over like 10 minutes ago, but, or five minutes ago. But, oh well, there it is. TH is the last one that qualifies for the round of eight. So in uh, group B, we have WFZ and TH in round. In group A, we have check and focus. So two, uh, two Koreans here in group A. Group B, we have two Chinese. 